Oh, really? No, like, Resident Evil guy saying the voice? You know? Guy saying the voice. You know what I mean. You know, the guy in the old Resident Evils? You, maybe I gotta click on the button. Maybe he'll do it. The fuck you mean, loading? Alright. Well, welcome to a silent fucking game menu. That's great. Way to make me look like a fucking idiot. Anyways... Welcome one, welcome all. Tonight, we are playing Resident Evil 4. In order to prepare for the upcoming Resident Evil 8. Or Resident Evil Village, however the fuck you want to call it. Or Resident Evil 8 Village, who knows, I don't care. Now, before we begin, i just like to say, for those who didn't see the announcement, right? So what I plan on doing is we're going to be playing Resident Evil 4 just straight up all the streams coming up next next streams everything Resident Evil 4 until we finish and then once we're done with that we're gonna do Resident Evil 7 the same way just straight up no rotations no nothing and the reason we're doing this is because I want to play Resident Evil 4 and 7 before 8 comes out now, I have played Resident Evil 4 and 7 before. These are not blind playthroughs. So, for all those who are wanting to know that, that's how that goes. Um, I'm not a speedrunner. I'm not a professional. I don't, know anything, I don't know anything about any glitches or tricks or nothing. My experience with Resident Evil 4 is not as much as a million other people would be. You know, people fangasm over this game and go, Oh my god, it's the it's a fucking masterpiece! Right? I'm not that crazy about the game, but do I like Resident Evil 4? Hell yeah, I do. Why wouldn't I? I like Resident Evil 7 better, though. You know? So, we're gonna be doing that. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we will have enough time to, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Hopefully we have enough time to finish Resident Evil 4 and 7, hopefully do the DLCs for both of them. Well, I say DLCs for both of them, Resident Evil 4 doesn't have DLC, it just has extra content with like uh, Mission Ada and shit like that. And uh, 7 has Zoe or whatever, Episode Zoe or whatever the fuck it's called, which I never played before. But hopefully we'll have time to go through that, and if we do finish these playthroughs before Resident Evil 8 comes out... Then we're just going to focus on Phoenix Wright for the time being. If not, then I don't know. We'll see what happens when we get to Resident Evil 8. So, with that said, let us dive in into Resident Evil 4 and begin. Right? Didn't think I would be doing this playthrough as soon as I wanted to. As soon as I wanted to? That's not what I meant. As soon as I would, or as soon as I am, I guess, is the phrase I'm looking for. I actually wanted to save this game till like Halloween, but um, but that's not gonna happen because Resident Evil 8's coming out, and I don't want to miss that day. Resident Evil 4. All right, well now you do the fucking voice. That's great. All right, so here's what I've been debating on. Now earlier this year we did a we did a playthrough, not a playthrough, but like I had some time like some free time uh, one night. So we watched the Resident Evil 8 uh, showcase and stuff like that. By the way, later today, there's going to be another showcase for Resident Evil 8. We watched uh, all that or whatever. Then we played some Resident Evil 4. We played the Maiden demo. And the only reason I did that was because I wanted to unlock the special outfits and stuff to show them off in the stream. Now, as far as I'm thinking right now, I don't think I want to... I don't think I want to... um play the whole entire game using these uh well using this one especially right because you get a bunch of benefits for that and it makes the game way easier and we're already playing on normal I'm not gonna play this on professional so let's just go with special one for the time being 1998 i'll never forget it it was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the arclay mountains Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. 
The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. It always bothered me that the R and the E are never capitalized. Okay, get a little cultural in here. ...working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Come on, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. <laughs> oh, you're crazy, American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. I'm counting on you guys, despite the fact that you're being hella racist towards me. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. Europe, question mark. There's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Ah, it's freezing. So cold all of a sudden. His accent makes me uncomfortable. It feels very racist for some reason. <laughs> Despite the fact that I do know people who sound exactly like that. I would never fucking drive over a bridge like that, ever. I'll go and have a look around. I will stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. We don't want to get any parking tickets. Jackass. Jeez, who are these guys? Did you say something? Say go fuck yourself. You can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. <sighs> Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. So Leon's supposed to be part of Secret Services, but he's like, so, uh... The the target is his president's daughter? You sure about that? I'm not sure about that, <laughs> right? So, Resident Evil 4. Right off the bat, uh, well, I guess I should say, uh, we played Resident Evil 2 and 3 on the channel before, right? Those are on YouTube if you want to check those. But we played those remakes, so if you were to play the originals, 
you opt from a... You opt? Hmm. You switch from a top-down perspective, or angle perspective, in terms of camera and stuff like that, and now we're on a third-person point of view, and we still have tank controls, right? So, most of the time, I'm probably, unless I'm aiming, unless I'm aiming with my weapon, most of the time, I'm gonna be walking around using the D-pad, because that's how you do it, because the fucking control pad is goofy. This game scares you? This is the least scariest Resident Evil ever. Maybe three would be, not three, my bad, maybe five would be the least scariest. Out of the main line anyways. Yeah, I think five is the least scariest. Five is the most racist. <laughs> but yeah. So you hold the X button, you run, you do that. Uh, I'm playing this on the PS5 via PS4 emulation on it or whatever. Fucking L2, aim, R2, shoot, L1, grab your knife, R1. You swing- oh, my bad. R2, you swing it. And that's pretty much for the controls, right? Now, you can shoot these fucking- where are they at? Did I make it fly away already? The crows that are around here? You can shoot crows for money, if you want to do that. Watch it on digital art pad and try- oh god, you're watching this on a digital art pad? How? You can do that? I never use digital art pads. This the one with, this one with the president's daughter? Oh yeah, no, yeah, it's the one with the president's daughter. <laughs> Alright. So, I am not a master at Resident Evil 4. It is probably, well not counting Resident Evil 5, it is my least played Resident Evil ever, I think. Well, that's a lie, because there's some Resident Evils that I just never touched. But, out of the ones that I played, this is my least played one. So, there's bound to be some goofs, but Resident Evil 4 is a pretty good game. When you know what you're doing, it's like a well-oiled machine. Right? It's like a flow to it. I really should have checked if this game had cutscenes. I don't think it does. I mean, cutscenes? What am I saying? Uh, subtitles. I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. ¿Qué carajo estás haciendo aquí? Lárgate, cabrón! Sorry to have bothered you. Freeze! Freeze! Put your hands up! You're not allowed to do that, even though I kind of just walked inside your home with no warning whatsoever. Oh no. The local Europeans are causing havoc. Shit. This reminds me I ran into a real life cannibal the other day. Oh fuck, what? Behind a Mexican food joint? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still other surrounding What? <laughs> Get out of there. What? <laughs> Just a wait, what? Just a cannibal hanging out? He's not a zombie. I gotta lower my fucking headset so I can actually focus on what I'm doing. Alright. So despite the fact that we're somewhere in Europe, everybody speaks Spanish. Or some form of Spanish. So I gotta remember where all the items are at and shit in this game. And I gotta get used to tank controls again. Looks like they killed a lot of people. For some reason, there's maggots on these skeletons. I hope Ashley is okay. Pretty sure maggots go after dead flesh and meat and shit. I don't think they would be hanging out on skeletons. Unless they're still in egg form. So, those two guys in the car are fucked up. They're dead. Now, when it comes to Resident Evil, we're gonna adopt the greatest strategy in the world known as just don't worry about it and run. Right? That's what we do. Don't worry about it. You turn, and you just run. Now, we have our boxes here. And we have the introduction. Oh my god, they're gonna trap me in here, aren't they? We have the introduction of... 
Oh, fuck you. Ow. Don't worry about it. Just run. Just go. They'll forget about us soon enough. I'll take the hit. Oh. Hi there, little pupper. That's a big doggo. What's a big doggo? A big doggo. Is the evolved form of little puppers. Now. He was sharpening a knife and asking... Wait, what? Asking us if we know... What? Asking us if we know he won... Wait, what? Know he won place in town. The fuck? That's a typo. <laughs> Asking us if we know one place in town that sells human. What the fuck? You sure he was a... <laughs> you sure he was a cannibal? Maybe he was just, maybe, maybe it was like an accent he had and he just didn't understand him. And maybe, maybe he meant, you know, maybe he meant to say, uh, the, the, the type of seasoning that, um, that you get from like Chinese food restaurants and stuff like that. Was it like Hungan style or something like that? I forgot how to pronounce it. I don't fucking know. Now, along the way here, you want to be looking on the ground. There's some traps laying around for you, like bear traps. Oh fuck, please don't tell me. Okay, there we go. I thought he slid all the way down. Now there's a good strategy in this game to save and preserve ammo as much as you can, and that's shoot them in the leg, hope they fall, and kick them in the face, or suplex them, and knife, knife the shit out of them until they die. Or, you can just pray to God and shoot them in the head and hope that they don't fucking turn into the Oogie Boogie Man. We heard him, man. We heard him. He said, we heard him. He said, yo, you guys know where I can buy, like, some human? You sure he didn't say, uh, cumin? You know? Like the seasoning? I'm pretty sure he said something like cumin. Oh my god, where the hell is this guy at? Come on. Good job. You made your family proud. Oh, fuck. You ran up to me pretty closely. Now it's going to be a while until I get back to the swing of things, right? Because last time I played this game was... Ooh. Look at that. Guess there's no sex discrimination here? This is true equality. This is what we need. This is what we want to achieve. He said us he... Wait, what? He said... He said it like he wanted us to know where. He <laughs> love crackheads. Trust me. My whole town is full of nothing but crackheads. And that's why I don't go into town. To buy my groceries. Alright. So. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna play the game like uh, wearing this special outfit for Leon. Oh, look at that guy. Let's just back it up a bit, you know? Get here. Look at him. No care in the world. Ah, fuck. Goddamn, Leon. What the fuck is with your early set, set of uh, Parkinson's you got going? There we go. Don't worry, he's alright. He's fine. He's gonna get back up. He's not getting back up. <laughs> All right, that that usually doesn't happen. Really? Just one, just one shot. Okay. Won't see me complaining. I'm fucking fine, Hunnikin. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it. Thanks. <laughs> I'm sending you a playing manual. Teach you how to play the game, cause you look like you're just getting your ass kicked out there, Leon. All right. So. <laughs> so um. Again, like I said before, I'm not a master at this game, so I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a lot of treasures that I'm gonna miss. Or some shit like that. I'll probably pick up the treasure maps and come back for them. Right? 
I play this game a little bit differently than other people. Look at that. Look at that. It's a chicken, Eddie! That motherfucker walking with a stride. He's like, move out the way. It's me. I'm on a mission. I like that chicken. I'm not gonna kill him. Struggling with the keyboard here. I can tell you got like a million typos going on. Alright. So what people usually do... Well, I don't know what people usually do, but I'm going to show you what I usually do. What I like to do is I like to run over here. Grab this. Don't worry about the lady, right? going to ignore her. Grab this. Okay. Then we're going to run over here. That guy's trying to do the thriller dance with me. One of the chickens dropped an egg. I'll take that. Thank you. Then we're gonna run over here, right? We're gonna grab this. Then we're gonna go up here, make a little loop. Then we're gonna run inside this building. Oh, dropped another egg. Why are Europeans so scared? Quote unquote Europeans. These are Europeans that follow a cult called the Los Illuminados. Very European. Oh shit, Mr. Salvador is here. You can tell he's European because his name is Salvador. Alright, first things first. Board up this fucking basement. Basement? First floor, you know what I mean. Quick turn. Come over here. Grab what we can. Pretty sure there's like a okay i thought there would be like a grenade there or something you want to grab this big boy bust this open make a beeline towards here tell them no this is your hideout they cannot come in now okay that's loaded now you just want to make a little uh a little something right just in case just in case you need it me right now i'm gonna eat this egg I'm gonna suck on some eggs. You? You stop. Oh, fuck. Alright. Shit. Last thing I want to happen. Alright, once they get in, once they get in, you get out. Ugh. Fuck. Get the hell off me. All right, then we're gonna turn around, pull out a shotgun. Just wait for them to line up a bit. Well, I didn't want to waste that on that guy, but you know. Oh shit! You know what? <laughs> Let's not waste it up here. Got some free time. Might as well reload while you can. Then you want to jump down. Now, what you don't want to do is run into Mr. Salvador. He has a chainsaw. And if he comes near you and hits you with that, it is a one-hit kill, and he will chop your head off. Little fun note, uh, in the Japanese version of this game, you do not get to see the animation where he chops your head off, because Japan don't like decapitation. It's against their laws, because of their fucked up past. Didn't there used to be like an incendiary grenade down over here? Am I crazy? Ah, shit. Now, if you stay up here for long, they're gonna throw up fire at you, and it's not gonna do anything, right? So... I'm gonna jump down. Jump down. Run over here. Double tap the button in order to, uh... Oh, fuck. Where's the... Here we go. Shit. I might have wasted too much time. Did they come in? I think they came in. Oh, We're good. Use that time to, uh... Take your gun out. He... Mr. Salvador's here. He definitely just cut the door down. Ah, shit. We're closed. You can't come in. Make sure you take the time you have to reload your guns. Now what I like to do is wait until there's a good number of people out there. I said we're closed. One more. One more should do it. Okay. 
take our one grenade that we have. Hope I don't fuck it, fuck this up. Oh, of course it's you who come busting through the door. Get out! Oh no! Who hit me? Oh shit, we're gonna have to kill Salvador. What the fuck did I get hit by? Oh shit, this isn't good. He's not supposed to be in here. Someone open the door so I can take him out. Thank you. You're not allowed here either. Go down. Get out. Woo! That still scares me. <laughs> What's the deal with the story again? Like, why is the town evil? They're evil because, uh... We are from America, and they do not appreciate us. Coming into their, uh... Coming into their European village. And tell them about the great ways of democracy. Where's everyone going? Bingo? <laughs> that was funny, Leon. You're funny, I like you. <laughs> this guy, he's a fucking riot. Where's everybody going? Bingo? Honigan, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near- Wow, Hunnigan, thanks for the insight. Leon, you need to get out of here. What about the president's daughter? Forget about her. So before things start despawning around here, you want to pick up what you can get. If you can manage to kill uh, Mr. Salvador during this area, I believe you might get a ruby out of it. But now that we're free, we're gonna start looting the place because that's what we do. Don't you know? I'm from I'm a I'm a Secret Service agent. I come into your house and I take your shit without your permission. It's the American way. Now, where's the... Oh, man, did it despawn? Damn it, one of the chickens laid an egg. And I wanted it. So I'm going to start hoarding all the fucking items that we find. Now, most of the time... I'm not doing it right now, but most of the time when you open boxes, you should really swipe twice. Because sometimes, just for fun, there's fucking snakes hiding in there. And they'll bleep at your ass and... Crawl up your your urethra, and then and then it's gonna hurt when you pee. It's gonna sting. Maybe a little blood will come out. Who knows? And we don't want that for our sweet boy Leon. I can't even call him a Boy Scout no more. He's not a Boy Scout no more, by the way. As you can tell from the fucking first cutscene of the game, they he's all like, huh, "What do you think I am, a Boy Scout?" Because back in Resident Evil 2, he was such a boy scout. He's like, come on, guys, we gotta follow the rules. But now he's a bad boy. If I wasn't wearing the special outfit, he would be wearing a leather jacket. You can tell he's a bad boy. And instead, we're wearing the RPD outfit. I'm gonna check this place again. <laughs> attack snakes? Yes. Attack. He is snake. He likes snack. But most importantly, the attack. Oh, this is still locked. They didn't come through the... Okay. Wow, guess I got out before they can do that. I could have sworn there was like a... Like another grenade in here somewhere. Many small insects are feasting on leftovers. Ah, that's the life. There's a very small item. There's very small items here. Nothing useful though. Hey, these are these people homes. Who are you to determine whether it's useful or not, Leon? How dare you? You don't know their way of life. You don't know their culture. You know what they've been through. I don't like this ladder. It's giving me the stink eye. I gotta knock it down. Let it know who's boss. Alright, so we picked up the, uh, spinel? Spinal? Whatever the fuck it's called up here. I never know how to pronounce that. And here... Nothing. Alright, I think... Let me check this fucking cabin over here. Maybe there's something in here. Ooh, bullets. And a memo! 
Alert order. Recently, there has been information that a United States government agent is here investigating the village. Do not let this American agent get... Wow, why you gotta, why you gotta point out the fact that I'm American? Racist. Anyways, uh, get in contact with the prisoner. For those of you not yet informed, the prisoner is being held in an old house beyond the farm. We will transfer the prisoner to a more secure location in the village when we are ready. The prisoner is to stay there until further notice. Meanwhile, do not let the American racist agent near the prisoner. We do not know how the American government... Wow. A lot of, a lot of American going on here, you know? Just paint me with stars and stripes. We do not know how the American government found out about our village. Satellites. But we are investigating. However, I feel that this intrusion at this particular time is not just a coincidence. I sense a third party under the United States government is involved here. My fellow men, stay alert. Chief Vitora, I don't even fucking know how to say his name. Vitor, uh, Mendez. Whatever the fuck. You know? Listen, I mean, I know I'm the American here. Don't take my advice, right? This is your country, you do what you want. But I'm pretty sure you shouldn't put all your information on a piece of paper just pinned up on a wall for everybody to see. Just, just some precautionary measures to, you know, think about. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can grab from here. Let me see if one of those chickens laid another egg for me. I'll gladly take another egg. Where are the chickens? Did they die? Did they die or did they just run away? I think they just ran away. Alright. Well. Salute thy fellow shul soldier? Soldier? What in God's name? If only he come with me, he would have died sooner. Alright. So I believe we're heading this... Wait, no, we're not heading this way. My bad. We're heading this way. Now, one of the things that I'm kind of uh, a little annoyed about with Resident Evil 4 is that they they trade in the lack of music for more ambiance, which is cool. But, you know, sometimes you wish you had something to listen to, right? I'm going to... I wonder where I want to go first. I'm going to deal with this guy over here first. Hello, sir. May I interest you in some... Some Girl Scout cookies? Hey, listen, we're doing a transaction here. Mind your business. He said he wanted some Thin Mints. I'm going to get it to him. And whatever the fuck those peanut butter ones are called that nobody remembers the names of. You testing my G? You testing my G-Dog? I'll shoot you. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Don't... Don't test me. I'll do it. That's what I thought, bitch. Take these eggs now. Wow, that was a real bitch move. <laughs> All bark, no bite. Now, what's in here? Oh, that's gross. Alright, so, well, first let's clear this area out before I even think about the emblems. Hello? Is anyone here? I'm here to tell you about Carfax. Show it to me. Maybe I won't kill you. Oh, come on, chicken. Get out the way. I don't want to shoot you. Invincibility frames, jackass. Learn it. I'm gonna come and kick you. We're trying to do that. Ah, shit. The dude's behind me. He's gonna throw something. Oh, he's dead. I'm using way more bullets than I should on these guys. But it was fun, though. Alright. Make sure you check every nook and cranny in these places. Because you're going to need every bit of help you can get. A 
Well, maybe not every bit of help you can get. If that was true, that means I would be using the TMP. Which I'm not gonna do, because fuck the TMP. And I don't care if you like it. I don't. trying to remember what I'm missing here. Most of this I'm going to go off of memory with. Open up. And handgun bullets. I'll take that. Now I believe there should be another guy around here somewhere, right? He should be down here. Hmm, guess not. So what we want to do is come over here, jump down, grab ourselves a good old beer stein, and then, uh, is there no, let me just make sure, okay, there's no, uh, barrels behind me or anything, push this over, alright, cool. Over here. There's this nice, beautiful pendant. And isn't it shiny? Don't you want it? Well, before you do that, shoot that out the way. Ah, fuck. Grab that. Take it. Open this back up, just for the fun of it. And as you may guess, it smells like shit. Alright. So around here, you may have noticed some beautiful emblems hanging around. There are 15 in total that you might want to hunt down. You don't have to. They're not too important, but... But, you know, it's nice to have. Ah, fucking Leon and your early sets of Parkinson's. Now, I believe in this area there might be seven in total? Here's the, uh... the memo telling you about the medallions. Just to be like, hey man, there's 15 of them. You should go find them. You get a special prize. It's my penis. Don't you want that? Okay, so I shot that one up there. I think there's one hanging around up here. Yes. Cool. It's an emblem hanging out over here. Okay, there's two more around here somewhere. There's one on the windmill. I know that. And then I think there's another one, like, hanging outside the area? Or something? Like, on a fucking tree or some shit? Let me just check up. Okay. Shot that one. Shot the one that's outside. There's this one that I want to get. Where's the last one at? I always miss the fucking the seventh one in this area. Because I just don't remember where the hell it's at. I think it's back towards the beginning. It doesn't help that the uh, camera automatically like looks downwards. I wish, I wish the camera was, like, a little bit further away. Like how they did in Resident Evil 2 Remake. That camera angle was perfect. It was beautiful. I enjoyed it. It made me wet. Oh, there it is. It's all the way on the other side. I'm gonna have to go that way anyways, so. No big deal, just climb on up. Up on over. All right. There it is. Now, if Leon can calm the fuck down. Oh, God. There we go. And I'm pretty sure there's more items around here. But that's all we're going to worry about right now. One open. Fuck. Gotta go the other way.
All right. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? They must really like arts and crafts around here. Oh, God. Fuck this shit. So, oh, shit. So what's also new to Resident Evil, something that will scourge the fucking series. Holy shit. For fucking, uh, multiple years to come is quick time events. Oh boy, after Resident Evil 4, don't they love quick time events? And by quick time events, I mean quick time events. Like, really quick. Like, like literally some of them are like half a second. Like, they're some of the scariest quick time events I've ever seen. And the fact that we're playing the PS4 version and the game runs at 60 frames now is no help to that. So, uh, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Capcom, for your bullshit. Now this area, I fucking don't like this area because it's filled with, with uh, bear traps, but that's not the worst part. You have these douchebags over here, right? And you may notice they're carrying something in their hands. Now, if you're, if Leon wants to be not a bitch, come on, Leon, come on. Why are you, shit, I missed. Well, basically, he's holding dynamite, and if you can aim well, just shoot his fucking hand. Then you can get it to explode. Like that guy over there. Now, the fucking laser sight is a pain in the ass. Fuck. God, I hate this shit. I wish the bats would shut the fuck up in my ear. They sound like Zubats. There you go. Beautiful. Oh, come on, dude. Just, like, look this way or something. Make it easier for me. Fuckface. Now, you want to get rid of these guys, because there's, like, a bunch of them here. And they will just keep throwing fucking dynamite and shit. And they can throw pretty far. And the radius of that dynamite is a pain in the ass. See, look at that. Where the hell is this jackass? There he is. I see him. Now, he shouldn't be able to get me from over here unless he... Oh, nope. Unless he wants to step up. Oh, that's pretty close. Dynamite hurts. Oh, we're... He is just... Ooh. All right. Now, just for safety, we want to get rid of all this. Because I might end up coming back here later. I'm not sure. To pick up, like, some shit that I may have missed here and there. I think that's all the enemies in this area, if I'm correct. Nope. Nope, it's not. Where are you? Oh, you're in there. Oh, fuck me. That is a lot of damage. But it's okay, though. Because we got this beautiful yellow herb. What the yellow herb does, combined with the red and the green herb, increases your health. Can't believe I forgot about this fucking guy. Jackass. Shit, gotta get closer. I'm gonna go the other way around. Just be careful for bear traps, though. They can get you any moment. Oh god, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna take out the shotgun. Because I feel like I'm not gonna be able to get him fast enough. No. No. Eh, actually, let's reload that. Let's reload this bad boy. Always keep a loaded shotgun. The shotgun will be your best friend. Love it as it loves you. No clues here. We're not looking for clues. We're looking for shit we can take. Like a grenade. We can take that. Alright, that should be all the guys hanging around out here. Now, let's just... I just want to clean the area up so I don't run into any no 
I don't run into any goddamn bear traps later on. Because that will fuck me up. Okay. Want that money. Gotta hate that spider. Are all the, uh... Bullshit. There's gotta be like a... There's gotta be like one fucking bear trap somewhere on the ground. I don't trust it. Anyways, there is a... Oh, there it is. A nest up here that you may want to shoot. Get a nice little treasure out of it. Cat's eye. You're going to want that. I think there was a box over here too? No, there wasn't. Alright, cool. Can we cut this? Cool. Open up, bitch. It's the sexy police. And you're under arrest, big boy. Now, make sure you save your game at every opportunity you have. Because unlike the old Resident Evils, you don't need ink ribbons for this. Let me back up, because the explosion radius is stupid in this game. Alright. What's over there? I think it's like a herb or money or something? I'm gonna go get it. Wait, hold up. I'm not sure. I'm gonna grab this first. I'm not sure if that can actually blow up the money or not. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't, but... You know, you never know. Ah, yes. Weed. It's been... It's been stored and preserved for ages. Hello? Is anybody in there? Narnia, is that you? Oh no, it's just a closet Mexican. My favorite type of Mexican. How's it going, big boy? I'm the sexy police. You're arrested. You're not like them? No. No, I'm American. That means I'm illustrious. Okay, I have only one very important question. You gotta smoke? Got gum. I got milk. <laughs> Perfect. I wish Leon would have said that. Just got milk. The big cheese. What? Cheese? Where? I love cheese. Oh my god, he has the Sharon gun. You know, when I imagined us laying on top of one another, that's not how I imagined it. But I'm still happy. Let us give you our power. <laughs> Soon, you will become unable to resist this intoxicating power. Oh no! He put a seed inside of me. Without any foreplay. What a bastard. I just want to point out, that was a thick-ass needle, by the way. Like, that was really big. Like, you could have killed him. You want to tell me what's going on here? Leon could have died from that. Americano, see? Now what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world? Oh, hey, easy, whoever you are. <sighs> Name's Leon. Came here looking for this girl. Seen her? What, are you supposed to be a cop or something? Nah. You don't look I'm wearing a police uniform, jackass. Okay, let 
me guess. She's the president's daughter? <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Want to start explaining? Psychic powers. Nah, I'm <laughs> just kidding with you, amigo. I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. That guy doesn't look too hot. And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. Now I'm just a good for nothing guy who happens to be quite the ladies' man. Why'd you quit? Phew, <laughs> policia. You put your life on the line. Nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. Used to be a cop myself. Only for a day. Though. Used to be a cop myself. Now I am a so cop. I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Hey boy, I'm not bad. Oh, calm down, Luis. He's just here to ask us a question. He's dead. <laughs> I love how Luis just runs away like a bitch. He's like, fuck, I gotta get out of here. You killed the guy. It's Leon. Sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was a bit tied up. You're okay, right? Fine. There was a male civilian held captive. According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. What happened to him? He managed to escape. He managed to escape. He literally just ran out the door. A secret passage in the village that leads there. I'm heading back to the village. I'm heading back to the village. Leon out. And the guy disappeared. That's great. But hey, got some handgun ammo. I'll take that. Oh, it's, it's my fucking favorite guy in the world. Love this guy. Oh, rifle ammo. But I don't have a rifle. However will I get my hands upon one? Got something that might interest you. <laughs> Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. Oh, I bet you do, you fucking sexy demon. Did you notice, stranger? My bad. Did you notice, stranger? But did you see the blue medallions hanging around the village? Come back after you shot ten or more of them. I've got a specialized gun I want you to try out. <laughs> Stranger. What are you buying? What am I buying? Alright. Oh, first of all, before we buy anything, time to play the best part of the game. Item management. <laughs> Cause you're gonna love this shit. Uh, how do I pick up shit again? What is- oh, uh, triangle. There we go. Oh, God. How do I want this? Arranged. Alright, let's get this out the way. Put you up there. Put you over here. Oh. Ah, oh, come on. Fuck. I'm gonna have to get used to the controls again. Make you look nice and pretty. Ah, oh, fuck, I keep doing that. Green one goes first, the red one goes next. Oh, my bad, what am I doing? Put you there. The eggs can stay there. And then my weed goes on the side. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? All right, buying? we're buying ourselves a rifle. Oops, that rifle's going. Ah, oh, shit. Means I gotta move my weed out the way. Oh, if I'm gonna do that, gotta make it look, look nice. Oh, but then there's no, no, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck! Damn it! 
Oh, there's gonna be a lot of that happening. Oh shit. Alright. <laughs> Thank you. I got enough points for uh Oh shit. No, I don't. Fuck. Alright. Uh tune ups. Here you can upgrade your weapons. For now, we're not gonna upgrade shit. And for sell what we can sell right now is the pearl pendant. <laughs> Thank you. I love this guy. Is that old stranger? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now, as for the red cat's eye and the beer and the beer stein, you want to keep your hands on those, right? Because you can also uh, key treasures. You can also combine them. There's two other cat's eyes that we want. Let me just double check my funds here. Now we got the medium sized attache case. We got a bunch of room. We're gonna want that. Now I'm gonna run back inside over here. Just to save my game so I don't have to do all that shit all over again. Rotate our saves. Never forget to rotate your saves. It's a beautiful thing. Now over here, I believe we get some ammo. Oh no, we get weed, even better. Can I open this? No, I can't. All right. So here we have this big canyon side gorge looking thing. What we want to do is we want to get rid of some people. Now, I don't, I'm don't. i not sure if you can kill everyone in this area. I have yet to do it myself. But, um, we're not gonna do that. We're here for a couple of choice items, if we can get them. And then, uh, we'll move on with our lives. Oh, and once that music starts, that means it is on. So, uh, fuck. Where is he? Oh fuck, he's coming. He's coming. There he is. Oh fuck. Well, we're both terrible shots. Come on, hit the ground. Oh, he's dead. That's great. Give me a second. There you go. Alright, you gonna drop anything for me? Nope. We're gonna go? Alright, we're going. We're going. Now, I'm not an expert about this place, but I am gonna take my shotgun out. Hello, beautiful people. My name is Leon Kennedy. I am here. Ah, oh, fuck. To not die. Excuse me, sir. Coming through. Going back in. Out of my way. Ah, oh, fuck. You're still alive. Thank you. I'll take that. Oh, shit. That guy's gonna hit me. Oh, I gotta reload. Holy fuck. Oh, of course you got dynamite. Of course you're just sitting there with dynamite. That is not how this is supposed to go. This is not how this is supposed to go. Dynamite guy threw me off my groove. Blow up. There you go. Thanks for the ammo, jackass. Oh fuck, I didn't, mean to, I didn't mean to press no on that. You guys are a bunch of cunts. I thought I'd just let you know that. Alright. Oh fuck! This is what we want right here. This is the beauty of it.
Just let them kill each other. Hi, buddy. Ow! Who the fuck hit me? Are there people behind me? Oh, that's not gonna... That's not gonna do anything. Bastard. What do you got for me? Ammo? I'll take it. No questions asked. Let's go. Wish there was more I could get. Oh. Is that ammo down there? I want that so bad. I can't resist it. Bastard. What's down there? Oh no, it's just money. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm gonna get myself killed over nothing. All right. Oh, well, I gotta combine it. Bullshit. There we go. And just like that, we're done with that area. No, they will not come after me through the door because for some reason they do not know how bigger doors work. They took all my fucking healing items. That sucks. All right. Nothing. Money. I'll take that. Open up, bitches. It's sexy time. All right, over here. Still gotta be a bit careful. Because we have this guy. Oh, fuck. I'm not even aiming. There we go. Put that down. That's dangerous. Oh, come on. I can't kick you from that. Oh shit, I'm starting to panic. Alright. Let's just turn the corner. There's no guys around the corner here. Nope. Nothing over here. Action roll. There we go. Now, they're going to end up killing themselves anyways. So don't worry about it. Usually how this goes. That guy's dead. Usually those two kill each other somehow. I forgot how, though. Ah, fuck. There we go. You should die now. Oh, fuck. Oh, I think he got hit by that. Yep, one of them got hit by that. Blow up, damn it. Blow up! Really? Oh, that's just bullshit. He did not die after that. Alright, you should... Yeah, there you go. You should be taken care of, no problem. What's really weird about this rifle is that the reload animation is at 30 frames, but the game's running at 60. Let's not. Oh, usually the, uh... Oh, fuck. Is he just hanging out over there? He's not even moving? Alright. Just peek your little head out. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, 
Come on. Ah, shit. I don't wanna hit the fucking bear trap. Come on, Leon, stop being a jackass. that just gotta skid up like this I like to get rid of all the bear traps just to be safe because they worry me I feel like I'll if I ever do come back this way which I most likely won't but if I do I feel like they'll fuck me over not starting for ammo just yet, so I do what I want. I'm grown. See, why can't the camera be back like this all the time? Grab this bad boy. We're going to be carrying that for a long time. No. Bad. Take a swim. Now, it's really fun here, right? If you have a grenade, sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't, but who gives a damn, am I right? Just toss it down there. Let's see what we caught. Oh, look at that. Making life easier. Ooh, flash grenade money black bass this is the right way to go fishing now what you want to do if you didn't get if you didn't get one just knife them what you really want is the large ones you want those Listen, I know this is for my weapons and stuff, but a man's got to eat, and you got to carry your lunch somewhere. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. God damn it. The black bass is going to piss me off. Now, let's be careful. Make sure not to combine those. There we go. There should have been two big ones down here, right? I guess there's just one, huh? I remember having two big ones, but that's okay. Now, the smaller ones you really don't need. They kind of just work like eggs, right? You can sell them too if you want, but... But I'll probably use them for healing items. All right, let's see, over here we have another amazing pendant. Ah, oh, come on. Damn it, Leon. Fucking aim straight, buddy. Could've sworn there was like a uh, nest around here somewhere. Wow, some loud ass crows. Oh, he didn't get scared off. Now he's gonna get blown up. Oh, poor little crow.
It's a large crystal ball. Which will you do? Up. That way. Activate it. Oh, what's this? A key? Ex insignia key, thank you. Time to steal your shit. Make sure you always walk around with a fully loaded gun. In video games, of course. want to be talking about unpleasant to the eyes. When's the last time you take a shower, homeboy? What? Same blood. Same blood? But I'm not Mexican. I mean, European. Leon, I've been able to get some new info that might help you. Fill me in. Apparently, there's a religious cult group involved. They're called the Los Illuminados. Los Illuminados? <laughs> That's a mouthful. Anyway, I had an unexpected wow. run in with the big <laughs> The American, just like the Los American, Illuminados. Right? Huh. Yeah. That's a mouthful. Me, but he let me live. And he Fun thing about that uh, voice line right the there. Same blood as them. Even though Los Illuminados is not a mouthful for Harry us in America, in the Japanese version of this game, it actually is a mouthful, so that's why Leon says that. You're right. Hurry and find that church. Because in Japan, it's like a pain in the ass to say that. And I'm pretty sure it has a different name instead of Los Illuminados. All right. First thing first, though. Let me just check. Subtitles. On. Why? What? Why is it blurred out? Maybe I gotta do that in like the main uh, menu or some shit. Yikes. Damn, you beat me like I beat my wife. Oopsie, my bad, totally forgot. That when you change Leon's outfit, that character gets an outfit change too. That character through the window was supposed to be wearing a red dress. My bad. They're all textbooks written in English, but I don't have time to read them. Yeah, education is for nerds and losers. And I'm neither a nerd and or loser. Hello? Anybody in here? Bastard. Are you gonna drop nothing for me? I get none for my troubles. Looks like they use toilets. Guess they're at least somewhat civilized. Taking that. Thank you very much. All right. Head over here. Here's an egg. Oh, I don't have room for the fucking egg. Are you kidding me? Can I use the egg? I don't think I needed to use the egg, but I used it. 
All right. Typewriter. Save my progress for me. So we're gonna have to make sure that our weapons are fully loaded before we open this door. Because over here, we are greeted with Mr. Salvador. Ah, oh, shit. You carrying dynamite? What are you carrying? Fuck! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn it. I don't want to miss a single shot. That's a good point to switch to the shotgun. Come on, buddy. Get a little bit closer. Alright, take your time. I can do this all day. Motherfucker. Oh God, just die already. For fuck's sake. God. Thanks for the ruby, jackass. Whatever the other guy dropped fucking despawned because it took forever to kill you. Oh, I got no more shotgun shells. Oh, shit. I have no more, no more rounds on the rifle either. Huh. Why am I running in here? Oh, I know why. <laughs> Forgot. All right. So, as of right now, I'm gonna take a little bit of a bathroom break, and I'll be back in like two to three minutes or something like that. So, give me a second. I'll be right back.
All right. I feel so much better now. <laughs> now that I was able to run to the bathroom, I feel great. I feel fantastic. I feel relaxed. This game relaxes me. I don't know why, but it does. Okay. Time to go and see the president's daughter. I feel like there should be something on here. Am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something out here. Like there was like a... Like some grenades or something I was supposed to grab. Dude, calm down. You need to take a chill pill. Oh! Alright. Shit. Did not expect that. There you go. Oh. Oh, dude. I was not expecting that guy to die right there. Okay. Uh. Ah, yeah, we got fish. It's fine. We got fish. And rifle ammo. We have fish and rifle ammo. Makes me sound like I'm from the south. Thought that one was gonna be a snake for sure. All right, grab you. Let me just combine it with with you. Save that for later. Oh, that doesn't look too good. How will I deal with this one? We can rifle it, right? I don't want to use my grenades yet. We can deal with with it with the rifle. Just line it up correctly. Back it up, get a little bit of an angle on it. Ah, damn it, their heads are too far apart. Maybe this is a good angle. Oh, yeah. That'll work for me. Fuck! Oh, well, at least I got a two for one there. Wasn't that beautiful? Do it the American way. Now, where does this lead? To the swamp? If it leads to the swamp, I'm gonna be a little upset. Oh, this is back to the village. Oh, shit. This is back in the village. Alright, so when we come to this village. Oh, shit! Wow! Oh, I'm still alive! Fish me up, baby! I'm surprised I didn't die there. I thought I was a goner for sure. Excuse me, madam. Let me use this ladder. Oh! Did not expect someone to be there. Just trying to head to church, y'all. Okay. Grab that. Oh, there's a box. Damn it, there's nothing inside. I don't need to save right now. Famous last words. Oh, fuck this. TMP ammo, the bane of my existence. Oh, hold up. I'm gonna wanna back up here. Do that. Thank you. Jump, jump down, Leon. There you go. Aren't there supposed to be like a box in the wall around here somewhere? Oh, over here you definitely gotta do this. Because it tells you where the, uh, the spinals are hiding at. Or spinals, or whatever the fuck you call them. And we get an elegant headdress. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that what we want? Nothing. Got something that might interest you. 
But what are you selling, stranger? A selection of good things on sale, stranger. So, stranger, any luck with those blue medallions? Remember, get ten of them. What you get a, get a good prize. <sighs> I want the treasure map, but I'm not sure if I'll go back to the treasures. Mm, it's so tempting. Ah, fuck it. I'll grab the treasure map. We're not going to grab any of the stocks or the TMP. We do not need that. And as for selling... We're gonna sell the large black bass. All, oh, my bad. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. We're gonna sell the ruby. Uh, I'll buy it at a high price. Damn right you will. <laughs> Thank you. Pocket watch is yours. <laughs> Elgin headdress is also yours. I'll buy it. <laughs> all right. You. And four spinals. Is that all, stranger? Four spinals. Is that all, <laughs> Thank you. And the rest we keep. Now, like I said, you don't need to tune up any of this. Also, be careful around the merchant. You can kill him. He is killable. Of course, you'll meet another one later down the road, but, you know, you can kill... Oh, fuck, I forgot. Gotta also sell this garbage out of my inventory. Welcome. What are you selling? I'm selling this fucking TMP. Where is it? This garbage right here. Yup. Don't need it. You know, you know what I'll, you know? Since I got a little bit of cash on me. Since I got a little bit of some of that. Oh, I can't get it. Never mind. I want a first aid spray. Okay. Well, that's fine. We don't need it. We don't need it. Now, let me console the, uh, the map just to see what the hell I've been missing all right uh the x oh shit I did miss a treasure oh wait no that's on a different area okay what did I miss oh I didn't miss any treasures okay all right I've been doing my due diligence where's this lead to this isn't the swamp is it no, this isn't the swamp. This is the graveyard. The swamp is over here. That's the treasure I always miss. Alright. Let's do ourselves a favor and get rid of you. Where are you at? Where are you coming from? There you are. There you are, Scary Terry. Cool. Problem solved. Ooh. Just what the doctor ordered. Hmm, no snakes yet. No snakes yet. We are looking crystal. I believe there's another guy up here, right? Not in the cemetery, but at the gateway. And I think he has dynamite on him. All right, Leon. There we go. Come on, there should be another guy. Is he not gonna... He's not gonna walk over here. Then I'll go to him. Uh, let me see. Oh, no, one of them has dynamite. <laughs> one of them has dynamite. Oh, uh, shit. I can't kick you, really. There we go. Just like I planned. Just like I planned.
Now over here, let's grab this because we're gonna. Can I shoot through the gates? It's gonna be a guy over here. I don't want to get too close. I might trigger him. And he he definitely has a uh, dynamite. So. Come on. Ah, oh, shit. Nope, he saw me. Fuck. Come on, I shot the dynamite. Alright. There we go. Now, and here's the green cat's eye. We want this. Now, I'm trying to remember what the insignia is. I think it's... Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So, it's... I think I gotta start with... Three, four... I don't know. I'll finagle it. Three... Four... Three... Three. 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 Four. Four. Three. Oh, was that not it? Damn it. Which one was it then? Ah, oh, shit. I thought that was it. Let me check. It's supposed to be the insignia on the, uh, on the church. So I'm just gonna take a look at that again. Oh, wait, was it not that? Okay, I see. My bad. It wasn't that one. It was the one below it. So... Should be... Three... Four... I'm gonna go four... Another four... Three... Shit. <laughs> There we go. Green cat's eye, you are mine. Now while we're here, we might as well grab the rest of those medallions. Ah, oh, there was one back there. There was one behind the church. Now we got a bunch of handgun handgun ammo, so don't worry if you miss. Hopefully we don't miss, but don't worry if you do. And eh, we can get those on the way back. We gotta head this way anyways. Leon, have you reached the church yet? Uh well yeah. Sort of. Leon, did I mention not to take the scenic route? At any rate, Ashley's probably inside that structure. Rescue her. Hurry! Alright, Hunnigan, calm down. I'll see you out on the fucking field. Fight, lady. Oh, why did I keep running? Ow, jackass. Is there someone next to me? There is. Don't worry, I'll just eat this fish. 
Just eat my lunch. It'll all be okay. You take too many fucking bullets. Where the hell did you come from? Is that the same lady I was shooting at earlier? Thought I killed her. Snake! Bastard. Let's see. Closure of the church. Regarding the two fugitives, that uh, the apprehension of Luis is our top priority. The American agent is distant second. What Luis stole from us is far more important than the girl. Unless we get it back, the girl will become useless to us. We must get it back to execute our plan to the end. If we get it, if we get it in the wrong hands, the world will become a total different place than what Lord Sadler had envisioned. At all costs, we mustn't let that happen. Nevertheless, we're not letting we're not letting go of the girl. To ensure that the agent does not get to her, I have locked the church door where the girl is being held. Thanks for telling me that, Jackass. Anyone who needs access to the church must first get approval by Lord Sadler. There's a key beyond the lake, but it should be safe now that the Delago has been awakened by our Lord. No one will get across the lake alive. Plus, our same blood courses through the agent's veins. It'll be just a matter of time before he joins us. Once he does, there'll be nobody else left that will come looking for the girl. Now that we're here, oh, look at that guy over there. I don't want to activate him. I got two shots. Make them count. Make them count. Ah, oh, shit. Can I still see him from here? Faintly, but not enough to, not enough to kill him. So I'll just do it from here. Come on, Leon. You're fucking. Of course. Of course. Of course it wasn't headshot. There we go. Beautiful. That's what I wanted. Now, I'm hoping that I can get the rest of these emblems without having to reload the gun. Because if I had to reload the gun, it's going to be a waste of ammo. Okay. One. Three. Five and six. I'm missing one. Why am I missing one? Is it further on the bridge? I think it might be further on the bridge. Check the map. Oh nope. It's just on the edge of the uh of the church. I got four shots. Don't miss it. Well, there we go. Now we only need to get ten. I don't know why I went after fifteen. I'm gonna be honest. I guess I'm just used to doing it that way. So once we did that, we're gonna head all the way back to the merchant. Because we gotta go claim our prize. And oh boy, do I want that fucking prize. Well done, stranger. Oh, my bad. Well done, stranger. I've seen you shot all number of medallions. Or enough number of medallions. Like I promised, go claim your specialized gun in the buy screen. Don't worry about the money. There's one. Uh, this one's on the house. <laughs> stranger. What are you buying? All right. We get the. Well, first of all, we want to sell. 
our handgun. Is that all strange? Is that all There you go. Thank you. And we want to buy the Punisher. <laughs> Thank you. Punisher we get for free after getting those medallions out the way. Come back anytime. And it's not the best handgun in the game. Well, whatever the best handgun in the game is debatable. It's between the Red 9 and I think the Black Tail? I'm trying to remember. I think it's the Black Tail, right? I really have no healing items, huh? No, I do. I totally... I didn't even see this shit staring at me right here. Forgot that I made this. Alright. I find it so weird that you can't buy any ammo from the fucking merchant, even though he's, like, covered head to toe in it. Yeah, that's right, I'm going to stay silent the whole time. <laughs> Nothing to talk about. Just playing some Resident Evil 4. That's how I do. Keep it casual. I don't got to talk 100% of the time. Maybe I want to let my voice rest, you know? Sometimes you just got to enjoy the game. Especially on a fucking hot night. Summer's going to be a pain in the ass this year. <sighs> That was a yawn. Alright. Ooh, money. I like money. Oh. Alright, so you got these crows here, right? They're all gathered together. So what you want to do is take your flash grenade. Huh. Do that. Get a bunch of money. And you get another flash grenade. It was like it was meant to be. here. Grab all this goodness. I want to check over here and make sure there's nothing. Oh, there is. Fuck is making that noise. Oh! Yeah, he's in there. I think I can see the character model through the door, too. No, I can't. Nope. There's no character model in there. It'd be cool if there was. Nothing in there. All right. Oh, more shotgun shells. Oh, it is reloaded. Okay. I'm surprised by that. Now down here... It leads us to a little, a little merchant hideout. Look at all the bullets and ammo this man has. And you can't have none of it. There's enough weapons here to start a small war. Got some rare things on what are you buying? Nothing. I'm buying nothing. We're not going to tune up our guns. We're not going to buy anything. We don't need it. We don't need it where we're going. Now, I think this is the place, right? Over here. No, it might be a different place. Yeah, I don't think this is the place. Yeah, I think it's a different little cave hideout that he has. Oh, shit. Is this not the place? Hmm. I guess not.
Oh. See, this isn't the, uh, this isn't the swamp, is it? It is the swamp. Shit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can grab that, uh, that treasure there. But if I can't, I'll just leave it. How much, uh, ammo I have? A shit ton. Oh, shit. Here we go with this bullshit again. That hurts my hand. Alright. Now let me just... Oh. Reload that just to make some room. Alright. Now where is it? Down, all the way to the side. There's gonna be like some traps down there I'm gonna have to deal with. But that's okay. I guess I'll just use the uh I'll use the ammo for it. Why not? Just can't be too close to it. And we got these fucking snakes down here. But lucky us. Alright, where is it? Ah, oh, fuck the snake. The snake's right in front of me. Is it in the tree? Nope, it's not in the tree. It's not in the tree. Where the hell is it? It is in the fucking tree. Ah, fuck. I didn't think they would be right behind me like that. Oh, come on, access the menu. Jackass. Uh, I don't have a fucking red herb, so... I'll just do that. Oh, of course it fell over there. Fuck me. Jump down. Antique pipe. It's not that important, but I want it. Oh, fuck. Now, you're gonna have to wanna run back up here. Because I believe I need to. Am I going the right way? Fuck. Don't touch me! Now, how many of you are behind me? Just the one? Let's see, I have a... I have one to spare. Is that a fucking snake on the floor? It's a snake in the box! Give me the egg. Fucking jackass. Didn't want to waste this much ammo. Oh, did I kill them all? Jackass. No, oh, fuck it. It's not worth it. I was thinking since I already killed so much, might as well kill them all. But forget about it. I got what I wanted. I don't think there's a... There might be some stuff in there. I'm tempted to go back. I'm so tempted to go back, but I won't. Now... Ah, uh, there's one that way. And then there's... Where's the other one? Oh, okay, that's a different area. Great. I believe if I run up here, I get something, too, right? Or is it just a cutscene? I think it might just be a cutscene.
god. I had to change my seating position. My chair's gonna make a bunch of noise. I just moved my leg around. Fuck. I was just moving my leg around. I'm like, oh shit, the back of my leg went to sleep. My squeaky ass chair I have. Trying to get in like a comfortable position. Seating position. Ow, fuck. Just hit my leg on my desk. Alright, this should be good. This should be a comfortable seating arrangement. So my leg doesn't fall asleep. Oh yeah, that definitely feels better. I'm sitting at an angle, but, you know. Take what you can get. What's this? Ooh. Get some handgun ammo. I'll take that. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Oh my god, we've been going for two hours already? Really? means I've been taking my sweet ass time with this playthrough. Okay. Saving it up. Rotate that. So now I'm going to show you something pretty awesome, right? Listen. Oh, look at that. It's a fish. You can hop in the boat and deal with the lago, but that's the bitch way out. You can do it the manly way. Take out some fire grenades. Come fight me, bitch. You won't. You know what? Using fire grenades and water? Pretty stupid idea. Come fight me! What are you gonna do about it? And that's what he does. That's what he does about it. Alright. That's one death for the playthrough so far. But that one doesn't count. So now, let's do it the actual way. I love the Jaws type of music that's playing right now. It's like, oh shit. All right, so the boss with Delago, he's gonna try and knock you out the boat and eat you. So whenever he's moving, just move all the way to the left or right. And when he does that, move to the side so he doesn't grab you. And when you think you're safe, a harpoon in his ass. You know? And sometimes the rope will snap and then you gotta hunt him down. Where? Oh, there he is. Now, when you aim this thing, you might want to aim lower or maybe a little higher. Because the aiming with the fucking harpoon is not fun. Damn it. Ah, fuck. Now, the good part with this fight is that, uh, most of the time, he's gonna move all the logs out the way. So, when he's just going, get him. Right? Like, he's not even going towards any of the logs. Oh, shit. He's gonna snap the rope. Yep. Rope's getting snapped. Alright, Delago. 
I think Delago's kind of adorable. Oh, sh shit, where is he? There he is. Oh, come on, I didn't hit him. There we go. As long as you hit him once, he won't get you here. You'll be safe. You might... I'm gonna say five more. Five more harpoons might do it. Let's see. Oh, fuck, I missed. Oh, shit. Oh, no. No, 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 no. There we go. He's gonna snap the rope again. Well, that was one harpoon that we threw at him. I think he's over here somewhere. Oh, there he is. <sighs> Gotta throw a little bit higher, I guess. Okay, that was two. Three. Four. One more. I think one more should get him. Should end his life. Oh shit. It's way to aim. Oh, he's trying to hit me. He's trying to get me against the log. Jackass. Ja oh fuck, I went straight for that one. Now, word of advice, the lower Leon's health is, the harder it will be for him to swim back. So, just as a precaution, we're gonna... Oh, you know what? Since I got this sitting here. We're gonna heal up. So if I get knocked out the boat again, I don't have to worry about it. Oh, five! I guessed right. Where's my money? I win. I'm gonna fucking play the lottery today. Oh no! The rope! Cut the rope! No matter how fast I mash, I feel like I'm never doing anything. There we go. Delago's adorable. I like him. I think he's supposed to be like a salamander or some shit. I love how Leon just nonchalantly goes like, and then back to my day. He doesn't even go like, fuck, or anything like that. See, hit ratio 80%, total 77, 106 enemies killed, number of times I was killed was one. And that doesn't even count. I highly doubt that, I highly doubt that I'm not going to die this whole entire playthrough. You're supposed to be seeing veins on his arms. The costume covers that. My bad. Sorry. Leon, it's been six hours since our last transmission. All right, Mom. Come the fuck down. Mean lonely. Anyway, I started to feel dizzy, and then I guess I must have lost consciousness. Lost consciousness? Yes. I lost consciousness. What the village chief was talking about. Hmm. Can't say. But I'm all right now. I'm gonna continue my mission. Okay. Oh, what's this? Anonymous letter. 
There's an important item hidden in the falls. If you're able to get it, you might be able to get Ashley out of church. But I'll warn you, the route to the church isn't a walk in a park by any means. They develop what they called El Gigante. So, God bless. About what's been going on with your body. Well, you're about that age, Leon, and you're going to notice some changes. <laughs> you might you might notice some unexpected hair in some areas, you know? <laughs> if I could help you, I would. But unfortunately, it's beyond my power. Well, thank you, anonymous letter. All right. Oh, nothing in there. Grab this flash grenade. Now, there's an interesting little, I guess, Easter egg? I really don't know what to call it. Maybe, maybe the game wasn't planned out correctly, but you're supposed to head this way, right? But instead of doing that, we're gonna, we're gonna head over here. Don't worry about the, uh, don't worry about the, uh, whatchamacallit, the lake, it's harmless. And if you want to, you can go fishing. If you find some fish in here, you can throw harpoons in it, the log goes dead, nothing will hurt you out here. Right? Do we have any rooms for, like, fish? We might. If I find some big fishies, I might just go get some. Now, I believe if you come back here... A cutscene is supposed to play. Let's just get, oh god, let's just get ready. Sit down. Oh, where'd the other one go? He ran past. Oh, fuck. He's about to jump on me. Ah, oh, shit. He's about to jump on me. Oh, fuck. I should have just threw a fucking grenade at them. Ah, fuck. You hurt like a bitch. Now, there's another one behind me. So, I'm going to move a little bit. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Bastard. So, I guess that's a little Easter egg if you want to call it that. That's supposed to be your first encounter with the dogs in this game. But what actually happens is since you're supposed to go the other way, most people never see that cutscene. Because if you head the other way, you end up heading back to the village and you're just gonna run into the dogs like they're regular enemies. Which they are regular enemies, but you know, there's not gonna be no fanfare to it. And the dogs hurt like a bitch. I will say, even though I don't like the TMP, the best weapon to deal with those dogs is the fucking TMP. So now, I'm gonna look around a bit, actually. Just a little bit, see if I find some fishies in the water. Because I would like to, uh, I would like to get some health. I would like to get some health, and I would like to, uh, oh, is that a fish? I think I saw a fish. Oh, there they are. Don't swim away from me. Come on, you little bastards. There you go, that's one. I missed on that one. Well, that one's just begging to be killed. Well, let me at least grab you. Now, I think the reason the fishes are in here is supposed to be so that you can have something while you're fighting Delago, but I guess I guess the developers came to their senses and says and sentences and says what the fuck did I just say? I had like a stroke. I guess the developers came to their senses, and then they said it's going to be a pain in the ass to, like, fish and fight Delago at the same time. So, 
so they probably made the logo easier than what he was supposed to be initially. I'm not sure if that's a fact or not. I'm just guessing. Oh, come on, I have space for this. I know I have space for this. Fucking hell. God damn it. Why do you find life difficult? I'm just gonna grab the two fishes so I can sell them. Oh fuck, are you kidding me? This is gonna this is gonna be a fucking problem. I see it already. There we go. Alright. Then I'm just gonna grab maybe one or two fishes so I can just get back to full health. But the smaller ones are definitely harder to hit. Son of a bitch. Stay put. I said stay put, you little fuck face. Stop moving. Oh, but now you want to stop moving whenever I'm ready. Oh, God. It's so sensitive. How'd that not hit you? Oh, fuck this. Come on. Come on. God. It doesn't help that it's so sensitive. I was hoping it would move forward. Ah, you're too close to me, you fucking fish. Leon. Are you... Are you so difficult, Leon? Just back up. That's all I'm asking, dude. Back the fucking thing up. Oh, come on. That was perfect. Are you kidding me? Do I gotta aim higher? I can't even see the fucking thing because Leon's hand is in the way and the fish is getting fucking closer. Dude. Unfucking believable. I'm being taunted by fish. Grab that one over there. That fish is taunting the shit out of me. They're getting closer because they know I can't aim when they're closer. Jackasses. Alright, I'm about to... I'm about to quit fishing in like two seconds. Oh! Got him! I saw another one swim over there. Hopefully you can, uh... Give him my health back. Yep. That's all I wanted. I didn't want to use any of my healing items. Now, which way is the... There it is. Head over to the merchant's cave. Here in the merchant's cave. Got some rare things on what are you selling? I got some stuff I want to sell you. You can have... These two fishes. <laughs> you can take the spinal. <laughs> take this pipe. <laughs> take this gold bangle. Cat's eye is ours. Alright. Now over here at this nice little shop. We can... We can somewhat ripe, uh, rob him blind. These barrels over here. They have stuff in them. But more importantly, what you want to do is you want to come... Oh, not over here. My bad. Oh, I missed this? That would have been bad. There we go. Just push this to the side. Take this. Climb up here. You push that over there. Push this over here. some money Ooh, gonna need that uh 
wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. We're gonna combine our cat's eye with the beer stein. Combine that with the elegant headdress, or whatever the fuck it's called. And now that we're over here, um, where is it? Where's the spot? Oh, here it is. For some reason, I couldn't. There we go. Jump down here, and we're right here with him. Now we can take this. Uh, I could have sworn there's something else in here we could have, we could take, but I guess not. I guess it's only the, the bullets. But yeah. Take some stuff from him. And if you talk to him, he doesn't say anything different. He just, can I push this off the ledge? Maybe something will happen if I push this off. Nope. Alright. Yeah, he doesn't say anything if you talk to him behind the uh, counter. He'll just go, got a selection of goods for you, stranger. <laughs> All right. Come on. Ah, oh, shit. Am I stuck? There we go. Now, I don't think there's any more treasures around here. Are there? Let me see. Nope. Nope, we got uh, all the treasures we can get so far. There's one up ahead. And this is where we came from, right? Oh, wait, no. Where's the door? It's over here. I grabbed everything in there, I believe. I believe I grabbed everything in there that I could grab. Shit, here we go. So here we get introduced to a new form of enemy, I guess. I forgot what the fuck, uh, what the fuck they're called, but basically the basic villagers, they're called Ganados. And uh, the little tentacle shit that comes out of them is the same thing that Leon has inside his body. And holy shit. Please stay the fuck as far away from them as you can. Because they hurt like a motherfucker. And you do not want to get hit with that. So, usually one, uh, one rifle shot is good enough to deal with them. Maybe a shotgun blast. You know, some of them might be more resilient. But yeah, those are the Los Plagas. They're the little parasites that are making these people strong, and they're also the parasite that's inside of Leon's body right now. That's what they mean when they talk about, uh, we are of the same blood. But nevertheless, we have the manpower and the firepower to deal with it, so I'm not too worried. There's only like one time when I really get worried about the Los Plagas. Alright. Oh, shit. Where the hell are you? You're up there, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Now, not every... Not every enemy is going to have the Los Plagas pop out of their fucking head. But most of the time, you can tell by either the sound that it gives off or, um... When you shoot their head and they're still walking for a good bit, that means they're about to play the animation. Or, uh, I think you see a yellow shit spurt out their head before the Los Plagas comes out. And those enemies are a pain in the ass. Royal pain in the ass. Alright. I'm gonna shoot that. I wanna head up here. Uh... I can shoot those. Oh, hey, Ryan. How's it going? Hope everything's been great for you. Oh, I can shoot that from here. No problem. No problem. There we go. Ooh. 
Handgun ammo. I will take that to my grave. Good. I've been doing fine. Today I fucking, uh... Today I drunk my first, uh, fucking IPA. And I was a fool, and I made the biggest mistake for my first IPA to be an Imperial IPA. Oops. <laughs> so it was really strong. It was really strong. And after that, after that, my, my mom just went like, Hey man, I bought this Imperial Stout. I don't want the rest of this. I see you drinking the IPA there. Do you want, you want this? And I said, fuck no, I don't want that. <laughs> I went, I just drank an IPA. You think I fucking want to drink a stout afterwards? No. It was really strong. I liked it though, it was, it was nice. It was a voodoo ranger. Alright. So now that's out of the way, we're gonna have to start dealing with these guys popping up. Oh wait, not yet, we gotta get closer to it. Shit. Alright, let's see. Maybe I can take like, one good shot. Nope. I was hoping... I was hoping, hoped for too much. Now, sadly, I'm not gonna be able to get no treasures they uh, leave behind, but uh, I'd rather just get rid of them. Just like that, the problem solved. Now there's a treasure around here, and I think it's this way? Oh, there it is. It's right there. Right in front of our faces. Amber ring. This should have some handgun ammo up here. It should. Nope. Instead, I get that wonderful green shit. Put it in my system. I need it. Keeps me alive. Keeps me going. You know what's weird? I don't know what the fuck this is for, but it bothers me. This little crevice here. I always feel like I can go down there and get something. I don't know why. Like there should be treasure down there or something. Take the round insignia? Of course I will. Don't you know? I'm a secret agent from America. I take shit that's not mine from other countries. I've obtained an object that resembles the cult group's insignia. Wonderful, Leon. Head back to the church. Ashley's safety is our immediate priority. Listen, Ashley's safety is your immediate priority. My immediate priority is for me to make sure my own ass is safe. Alright. So here's the Bat Cave. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure if you stay here long enough that, uh... I'm pretty sure, not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure if you stay here long enough, the bats will just start biting your ass. I think they can actually damage you. So let's get the hell out of here. I'm gonna bite you and you're gonna get fucking rabies. Let me see. You know what bothers me? So there's fish over here, but you can't get them. I guess they're here just for decoration. You can kill them. And it's like, don't you want to pick up that fish? But since you can't control the boat in here, you can't actually get them. Makes me sad. Makes me sad. Let's see. I wonder if I can buy another, uh... First aid spray right now. Because I would love to. Yes. Thank you. Oh, I used my other first- I did! I was being attacked by the fucking dogs! God damn it. I'll tell you what I'm selling. You can have this amber ring. I do not need it. And... That's it. Goodbye, stranger. <laughs> Alright. So now that we're heading this way, we're gonna have to deal with Delago. And I hope you saved that dog that we saw earlier, because, uh... Did I say Delago? My bad. I mean, uh... Fucking... 
let's call it uh El Gigante, right? I know what they're saying, that means fast. I learned that from Dora. You know, Leon, you can just shoot them all right now. But it doesn't matter. El Gigante will do the rest for us. I always love how he just kicks the guy over. Oh. Nice dodge. I love how Leon gets in a fucking fighting stance. Like he's about to start boxing with this dude. Alright, so. Ellie got there, right? Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna run in terror and scream. Oh, fuck. Actually, I think I just fucked up. I don't, I think what you don't want him to do is destroy those, uh, houses. Because I'm not sure if he destroys them. I think if he destroys, oh shit, that was fast. I think if he destroys them, you won't get the goodies inside. He said that shit in Spanish. Fucking TMP, go fuck yourself. You also don't want to be in here when he's, uh, when he's targeting it. Because he will crush you and you will die. Oh, come on. Didn't give me that time, bitch. Oh, you still do get the good shit in here. Alright, cool. Saber Wolf! Is that you? Hey, it's that dog. Hey, it's that dog. Now that the dog is here to help us, he will distract Eligante. So, what you want to do is grab some shit. Let's use these. I'm not sure how bad this hurts him, but I feel like it did nothing at all. I felt like it did absolutely nothing. So, you just want to shoot him. Maybe in his head, preferably. Oh, shit. I wish there was like a like a back dodge button for Leon, you know what I mean? So he can jump and skip. And once you shoot him enough, the dog's gonna be useless! Aw, oh, come on, you didn't give me no warning for that, jackass. That was a deep cut. Oh, shit. I have no red herbs. That pisses me off. There should be a red herb somewhere around here. Hey, dog, do your job. Oh, here's the red herb. Oh, fuck. Can you turn around? Leon, I need you to do the quick turn. God. This is the one problem I have with this game. Is that, uh... Is that since Leon moves so fucking slow, running away from enemies is a pain in the ass. So once you see that jump up out of his back, just jump up and cut the shit out of it. Take some pod shots. I'm gonna hide behind this house. It's not gonna save me from anything. Oh, he just picked up a tree. I heard that shit. Come on, come on. There we go. He really tried to get me. Do something, dog! You're just standing there. Who likes Zoink Scoob? Help me out! It's the creeper! Oh shit. Uh oh. Squeezing the fucking life out of me. I feel like. I feel like Goku when he's fighting Vegeta. Come on, get down here, big boy. Oh, 
One more time should be enough. Get the dog, not me. It's the dog you want. Now, there is a move that Elegante can do if he so chooses. In which... Oh, he just picked up a fucking rock. That's not the move I was talking about, but... It's a different move where if he just wants to charge at you, he'll do it. He barely does it, though. I think he has... He has that move and he has something... He has something else that's like a fucking instant kill or some shit. Like he just squishes you or some shit. I forgot what it was. I think he picks you up and he throws you. I think that's what it is. But he barely does those two moves. Like, ever. It's a very rare occurrence. Oh, shit! Never mind! He said, rare occurrence. I'll show you rare occurrence. I feel like if I can get him to ram towards the rocks, maybe something might happen. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I feel like it would be that way. He's dead. I love how the Ganados are just like, they're like, well, he beat, he beat El, El Gigante. Instead of trapping him in here, I guess we'll just let him out. You're free to go, Leon. I would have loved it if there was a cutscene that, like, I pet the dog or some shit. Be like, thanks for saving me, Pucho. And then the dog looks at me with his stupid tongue hanging out. He goes like, the most goofiest voice ever. He just goes, no problem, Leon. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> I must go back to my people. My tribe needs me. Is my shotgun loaded? Oh, I have no shells. But I got this nasty ass TMP ammo. God damn it. Ooh. Thought there would be a fucking snake in that. I really did. Thought there would be a snake. But I was the snake the whole entire time. House Slytherin all the way. Oh, there he is. Praying on my fucking downfall. Bitch. Oh! He's got plans. Oh, we mean I missed. Get the hell off me. He's gonna get me. Dogs are a pain in my ass. I do have that grenade. Oh, come on, I hit you with that. And you know it. You know it. Burn, you mutt. He's still alive. Thought I heard growling. <laughs> gotta go. That's okay, man. Do what you gotta do. I'm sick here. Be playing some Resident Evil. So now that we defeated the Lago and we grabbed the Circle Insignia. Circle? Round Insignia. My bad. Technicalities. Throw it in there. And we get to save our baby girl. Oh, what's over here? Money. I will take that. There should be like a first aid spray or something on one of these chairs. Chairs? Benches? Oh no, I'm thinking of Resident Evil 6. Ooh, can't believe I remember that. Flash grenade, I will take that. Hoard that. Like I'm fucking Gollum. It's my precious. Do 
Do I have any more ammo in the... Oh, I do. Reload this bad boy. 30 frames. Beautiful. Okay. Some way I gotta open this. I don't worry. Just gotta action star our way across. There we go. I was hoping there was an item over here. God damn it. Alright. Let's see if I can get this on the first try. Hmm. Which color will you operate? I will operate the green color. Oh. That goes there. I will operate the red color. That goes there. The blue color. Hmm. Yes. First try? First try, all right. Nice. Cinderia grenade, I will take that. No problem. Hello, is anybody in here? Take it easy. No! Get away! Calm down. Everything's going to be just fine. My name's Leon. I'm under the president's order to rescue you. What? My father? That's right. And I have to get you out of here. Now come with me. Wow, winning your trust was pretty easy. It's Leon. I've succeeded in extricating my subject. Good work, Leon. I'll send a chopper over right away. Where's the extraction point? There's another trail that you can take to get out of the village. The chopper will pick you up beyond there. Got it. I'm on my way. Got it. On my way. All right. So here they tell you how to control Ashley. It's nothing too difficult. It's just an escort mission. The main thing you just got to know is when an enemy sees Ashley, uh, well, first of all, two main things you got to know. Ashley has health. Don't let her die. Second thing, um, is uh, when an enemy sees Ashley, they'll most likely try and pick her up and take her out of the area. If they walk through a, they can go through rooms, no problem, but if they walk through a door that takes them to a different section, like of the map, instead of being in the same area, then it's game over. Ashley has been taken away. And that's pretty much all you gotta know. Uh, other than that, you have the option to tell her to wait follow me. and follow you. And, uh, the rest you'll just learn along the way. Now, it is possible to hurt Ashley yourself. So, sometimes you do want her to stay back a little bit. But for the most part, she's pretty okay with it. Because if you take your gun out and you move it this way, she's smart enough to get the fuck out the way. Right? But you can still shoot her. And you can also still knife her. But don't do that. All right? Overall, Ashley is, uh, for years, so many people found Ashley annoying. I don't find Ashley annoying at all. Right? And I think it's mainly because whenever she's in trouble, she'll scream for your name. Follow she'll be like, Leon, help! Right? So, since we're playing with the special costumes, instead of Ashley being in her usual attire... She is in her, her, uh, I don't know what to call it, fucking cowgirl attire, fucking, uh, idol attire. So she's not wearing her, uh, her skirt and, uh, sweater, but if she was, here's a little Easter egg for you fucking perverts out there. 
whenever you're at the bottom of a ladder or whatever have you, ledge, and you look up. She may not do it because I'm not sure if it's contact sensitive to a uh, to the outfit she's wearing or not. She should do it though. Oh, come on, Ashley. She may not do it because of the outfit. Maybe I gotta... Oh my god, she may not actually react because of the outfit. I never knew this shit. Ashley! Be creeped out by me, come on! You make me look like a weirdo now. I don't think she reacts to it because of the outfit she's wearing. Yeah, I think that's it. I think they tucked that out. Huh. Well, if she was wearing her skirt or whatever, if you were to look up a ladder, she would, you know, crash down and be like, Where are you looking, pervert? And call you out on your bullshit. I'll take the girl. Who are you? If you must know, my name is Osman Sadler, the master of this fine religious community what do you want to demonstrate to the whole world our astounding power of course no longer will the united states think they can police the world forever so we kidnapped the president's daughter in order to give her our power and then send her back no Again, that needle was super fucking thick, ma'am. I think they shot something in my neck. What did you do to her? We just planted her a little gift. Oh, there's going to be one hell of a party when she returns home to her loving father. Ooh, parties? <laughs> I like parties. Am I invited? But before that, I thought I might bargain with the president for some donations. Believe it or not, it takes quite a lot of money to keep this church up and running. Faith and money will lead you nowhere, Sadler. Faith and money will lead you nowhere, Sadler, says the fucking United States secret agent, Leon. Oh, I truly hope you like our small but special contributions. When the eggs hatch, you will become my puppet. Involuntarily, you'll do as I say. I'll have total control over your mind. Don't you think this is a revolutionary way to promulgate one's faith? Sounds more like an alien invasion if you ask me. Those guys have the most stupidest faces ever. What was the point of that, guys? I thought you needed to kidnap her, not kill her. This mess, we can get out of it. Don't worry, Ashley. I'll protect you. It is what I do. I like that. I like that picture of Leon and Ashley. It's very nice. All right. So, well, first of all, whenever I'm Wait. attacking barrels, I always want Ashley like away from me because I don't want to cut her by accident. Because believe it or not, if you do it just right, you can. Like, and you're near her, you can take out your knife, swing, and it will still cut her. So, be careful with that shit. Alright, let's see what we got here. Fix that up. Is 50 the max number you can carry? Oh, it is. Okay. Well, for handgun anyways, I think for other stuff it's even less. Fucking stupid ass TNP ammo I got on me. I don't want that shit. Who needs it? I don't. But I need some shotgun ammo though. Always need shotgun ammo. All right, can't leave, oh my bad, follow me Ashley, you unlocked it.
Ashley's my baby girl. I gotta protect her. Yeah, yeah, I got it. There's still gonna be some stragglers. Let's go, Ash. Don't look behind you. Can that fire hurt us? No. Keep going, Ash. Keep going. Don't even worry about the box. We don't need it. Our main priority is to get the fuck out of this hellhole. Ow. What the fuck was that? I just felt something on my shoulder. It might have been my hair. I have pretty long hair. Alright. Welcome. Welcome. Got some rare things on set. What, what you got for like? me, buddy? The Red Nine? Ooh. The Red Nine. Such a beauty. So beautiful. Oh man, I just reloaded my what weapon. I totally selling? forgot that the Red Nine becomes available. Alright, what am I selling? It's that. Thank you. Now we're getting rid of the uh we're gonna get rid of the Punisher. Right? It's still a... It's an okay gun. I'll buy it at a high price. You know, it's good. You can continue with it if you want. Oh, that's why. Hold up. That's why you get all 15 of the emblems, I think. You get an extra pip of firepower on your... On your Punisher. That's cool. So we're gonna sell that. Thank you. Sell these spinals. Is that old stranger? Ah, fuck. I always do that, that shit. <laughs> And yeah, what we're going to buy ah, the Red Nine. Choice of an avid gun collector. It's a nice gun, stranger. It is a nice gun. So with the Red Nine, I believe you can. What is it? It's the Red Nine, and I forgot what the other gun is. I re I think it is the Black Tail. I'm not sure, but they both have their own uh, their own like special uh, specialties to them. One of them, I think, just has, like... I forgot what it is. One of them has better damage, I think, and the other one's able to shoot through enemies. I forgot which is which, but... Red 9, we're getting... Now, the Red 9 is a little bit bigger than the, uh... Than the Punisher, so just account for that. Now, some people like to buy the stocks for them. Me, personally, I don't. I don't like to do that because it's just unnecessary space that I don't need, right? If I don't need it, I'm not gonna buy it. <laughs> Thank you. Now for the Red 9, we're gonna be keeping the Red 9 the entire game, so I'm not afraid to tune it up, but I'm not gonna do that right now because, Come back I'm not gonna do that right now because it's not gonna be, it's not going to be too long until we're able to, uh, until we're able to, um, whatchamacallit, head to the next area where another weapon will be available for us. Wait. Stay here for me, Ashley. I just want to make sure, see if these, uh, come back. I don't think they do. Nope, they do not. Follow me. Let's go, Ash. Come on, baby girl, let's go. For the majority of this playthrough, I will be referring to Ashley as baby girl, because that is what she is to me. She is precious, and I need to protect her. Is she wifey or anything? Not sure about that. And that's not even like a smart comment. That's just me actually saying, not sure about that, because I because I really never thought about it. But it's my job to protect her. That's what I'm going to do. Now, for those of you who are wondering, she is 20. She is legal. Alright, so over here, what I'm gonna do is, usually I wouldn't waste my ammo on shit like this, but, and usually I would have my, uh, oh, fucking hell, usually I would have, oh, son of a bitch, I gotta reload, oh fuck, sorry Ash. Sorry Ash, my bad, follow me baby girl. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There we go. Alright. Now, Ash, this is great. I want you to get in the fucking trash where you belong. 
You stay in there. You put her in there, she's safe. Now, because I got Ashley hit, I am gonna... Ashley has to be near you to heal her. Ah, she's fine for now, then. Let's see what we can pick up before, uh... Before we do anything crazy. Now, I just wanna... Before I leave, 100%, just wanna double-check, make sure there's no treasures that I'm missing along the way. Okay, that's in the next area, which we're going to now. Okay, cool. Cool. No problem. Sierra and the third party. The whereabouts about Sierra are still unknown. Most likely, he's using an old secret passage taught to him by his grandfather who used to hunt in this region long ago. I'm pretty certain that he's hiding our property somewhere in the forest. If his grandfather was still alive, I would have used him to find Sierra. But, how did he find out about the egg injection into his body? And the fact that he was able to remove it before it hatched is concerning. Another factor that conquers me, conquers, that concerns me, is that Sierra escaped with our property just before the American agent arrived. I don't believe that it was just coincidence. There has to be another player involved in this. In order to settle this whole situation, we have to capture Sierra and wait for the effects of the drug to wear off before we inject him with another egg. Once this is done, whoever is behind all this will surface. Somebody shall interfere, uh, somebody, wait, what? Somebody. That's not even the words out there. Nobody shall interfere with our plans. Those who do shall suffer severe consequences. Those who do it shall suffer my wrath. Severe consequences upon you peoples. Face my wrath, or I am man dark. You guys ever watch fucking. <laughs> ever watch, uh, Dexter's Laboratory? Right? And there's the kid Mandark. We got a crush on his sister. Alright, calm down, buddy. You know what? I have no idea why I attacked that guy in that way. I should have used my fucking rifle. Should have used my rifle. It's the smarter thing to do because. These motherfuckers have parasites in them. And you gotta be careful with that. A twofer. Uh huh. It's beautiful. Don't need any makeup for that one. Is there another dude? Oh, he's up there. I couldn't even see you. Oh, there's another dude there, too. Oh! Yep, move, Leon! Where is he? Get rid of that shit. That is very concerning. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't disappear. Come over here. Don't disappear on me. You stay right there. I don't think he's dead. Is he dead? He is dead. All right, cool. Pretty sure we have everything that we need over here. Oh, they put fucking bear traps on the ground. Jackasses. The boxes respond though. So that's cool. Give me some ammo. I would love some shotgun ammo. If possible. I will take that, no problem. Use that on Ashley. There's nothing over here. Okay. I believe all the farm animals are dead too, so we can't get no, uh, no chicken eggs. Listen, I'm thankful that they got all the shit. Still wish I had a uh, some shotgun shells or something. Snake? No, it's not a snake. Okay. All right. Well, there's 
There's nothing over there, right? Nope. Up on through. And there should be a guy down here, if I'm correct. Come on, buddy. You can do it. You know you want to move forward. Really? Nothing. All right, now, you know what? Come up here. Surprised he didn't step in his own bear traps. Oh, you are a fast climber. You're also a fast faller. Who would have thought? Okay. I think there's another guy down here, right? Oh, thought there'd be like a guy over there. Okay. This is gonna be fucking annoying. Oh, not close enough. Just gonna get rid of these so that Ashley doesn't fucking hurt herself. Baby girl, get over here. Now we just play the waiting game. Please tell me she's not getting stuck somewhere. She shouldn't be getting stuck. There you go. You can climb down the ladder, right? No problem? Aw, oh, fucking hell. Come down here, baby girl. Gotcha. Alright. Now, here you go. I'm sorry that I got you set on fire earlier. It was my bad. I didn't mean for that to happen. I panicked. God, I love that reload animation. This one, not so much, because the frame rate's not the same and it bothers me. Thank you, Ashley. All right. Welcome. This is where I wish I can. This is wish. This is where I wish I can buy some. Uh, is that all? So much McCallet. Thank you. Come back at any time. This is where I wish I can buy some bullets. But we can't... Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Usually I have some shotgun ammo with me here. But I don't this time. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. Leon, I have some bad news. Yeah? Not hear it. Well, I'm afraid I have to tell you anyway. We've lost contact with the chopper. Someone must have shot it down. Though we can't determine who. Great. We're prepping another chopper for you. Meanwhile, I want you to head towards the extraction point. Got it. All right. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. What was that? Why did my Why did Leon move to the side like that? What are we going to do, Leon? Hate to say it, but we're sandwiched all right. <laughs> Look at that guy all the way to the left. His face was so low poly. God damn. Thank you. Small world, eh? Well, I see that the president's equipped his daughter with ballistics, too. How rude! And I don't believe there's any relevance with my figure and my standing. Who are you? Oh, oh excuse me, your highness. Perhaps the young lady might want to introduce her. I love how Luis is goofing off with Ashley. Her name's Ashley Graham. President's daughter. While uh, while Leon's literally just running around like, gotta make sure this place is boarded up. She's cool. Don't worry, Luis. She's cool. Never mind. There's supposed to be some kind of obvious symptom. Also, Luis is kind of an asshole for what he did. He's all like, "Whoa, nice tits," and then she's like, F "Go fuck yourself." And then he goes, "Well, I think you should ask. I think you should state your name before you talk to me." And it's like, "What the hell, Luis? You literally just..." 
He literally just fucking went like, whoa, titties. Grab this, that's important. Luis, it would be nice if you were to help me a little bit with this. There is a lot of people. All right, so this is where, ah, oh, here we go, shotgun ammo. God damn it. Make sure to load up. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Do this good, do this good, do this good. Alright, so we want to stand our ground here. On the first floor, as best as we can. This should be the first one breaking down. Oh, shit. I don't want to run upstairs and grab anything yet. Wow, you guys are taking forever to knock this down. Oh, shit. Wait, take from what? Oh, Luis gave me some ammo. Oh, thanks, Luis. He's just dropping ammo for me. Well, since you got that side, I guess I'll get this side. Ow! For fuck's sake. So when those guys appear, or when these guys get too close, you want to pull out the shoddy too fucking hottie. I am not doing such a good job here. Oh, Luis is getting fucked. Oh, no, you fucking don't. Stay out. Stay out there. Luis, you got your side of the room? Covered? Ow! Fuck! Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Ow, ow. I'm not ready to head upstairs yet. I don't want to. You can't make me. Luis, this is gonna hurt. By the way, you can totally hurt Luis here. So be careful. If you shoot Luis too many times, he will turn and kill you. And by turn and kill you, I don't mean... Ow! I don't mean... Like a zombie. I mean, he will just straight up shoot you because he's tired of your bullshit. Oh, they're going upstairs. Fucking hell. Once they start heading upstairs, you take your ass upstairs too. Take your sweet ass upstairs, and if there's too many Los Plagas guys, or you just don't want to deal with them, throw a flash. Ashley's hiding inside there, so don't worry about her. Over here's a flash grenade. Once you hear windows breaking, you just... You just fucking load up, and you tower defense this shit. Now, they will still be coming through the- Oh, my fucking guard, you kidding me? Get the hell down. They'll still be coming through the bottom. So, ow! Which one of you motherfuckers threw that at me? I am so unprepared for this. I wanna grab the shit that's down here. What'd you grab- What are you giving me, Louis? Thank you. Make sure that- no, 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 you get down there. Luis is covering the stairs, so thank you. Oh, now they're going through here. No. Stay over there. Luis, you still got the steps? Of course you don't. Of course you don't. I'm gonna need this. And I want that. Did they get in? Oh shit. Get that window, Luis. Get that window, buddy. I'll try and hold off as much as I can. Ah, oh, fuck. Did the guy turn behind me? Did he turn? Of course he fucking turned. Die.
Nice shot, Luis. Nice shot. It'd be nice if you can get the stairs for me, Luis. It'd be nice. How the fuck? Oh, shit. Nice shot, Luis. He's got the steps. So do I. Now, I'm so happy that they don't... Oh, fuck. Luis just scared the shit out of me. I'm happy they don't throw a uh, Mr. Salvador towards your way over here. Because if they did, it'd be a pain in the ass. Greatly. Bastard. I'm getting a lot of shotgun shells from this. way better than I thought it would. Now I'm cracking the shit out of my knuckles because holy fuck. So, what do we do now? We survive, jackass. Out, so I guess we have no choice but to keep moving. I forgot something. You guys go on ahead. Lewis. All right. Is that the game, or is that my window? There's like a bunch of birds outside my window right now, just like chirping up a fucking storm. Alright, so now that you dealt with that, you want to check out the house, see if you missed anything. Usually, it's like a whole entire fucking war zone in here. That's like the best I ever did with that. Usually, like, this whole entire area will be filled with goodies, but since I was playing it really safe this time, uh, you know, I didn't get anything from it, so. And whatever, if you killed enemies from outside the, uh, outside the house during that, I think all their stuff would disappear by the end of that cutscene, so. Let's see if there's any ammo out here. Nope. How many shotgun shells did we get from that? Because we picked up a lot. <laughs> well, that's a lot. That's a good amount. Don't worry, we'll get more later. There we go. TMP, you are... You are fucking... Worthless to me. Let's see. Two routes. Just a while ago, I was informed by Lord Sadler that our men had shot down a United States military helicopter. There shouldn't be any more outside interference for a while. Unless the United States government determines who the traitor is, they can only... They can only initiate... <clears throat> Initiate very small co covert operations. We must use this time to our advantage and recapture the girl. The two Americans can only get out of our territory by using one of two routes. This is where we will stop them. We will make use of our forces to the great greatest degree. We will deploy a large number of Ganados in one of the routes to ensure that they do not slip by for us. For the other route, we shall leave the task to Eligante. Whichever route they take, the ancient uh, agent. Wow, the agent will never leave her alive. I'll never leave here alive. Not with the girl, at least. All right. So we now have two options. Is there nothing else in here? Oh God. Okay. We now have two options. In which uh, we can either head to the left side or the right side. Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna do both. Why only choose one when you can what do both? I'll tell you what I'm selling. This fucking garbage right here. You have my trash. Alright. I'm gonna grab me a first aid spray. Because I need that. Come back anytime. 
Can I get another first aid spray? What are you buying? Cause the game determines whether you can buy a first aid spray depending on how how many healing items you got with you, I think. Alright. Doesn't matter which way we go, we will go. Is it is it the right way? I think it's the right way. That doesn't have the uh that doesn't have El Gigante in it, right? Because I want to do that way first. It's more difficult to do that way. To like do the road with all the Ganados than the one with Eligante. But uh, oh no, this is the one with Eligante. Get the fuck out of here. The left side has the Ganados. Because one with Eligante, if I'm going to do both areas, then uh... Then I gotta um... If I'm going to do both areas, I'm going to have to backtrack through one of them, and the one with Eligante, I don't want to backtrack through. Because you can get past that route without even having to fight him. But when you go the route with the Ganados, you have to fight them. Alright. Oh fuck, I was not ready. I was not ready. <laughs> Sorry. I got distracted for a moment. I was looking at my I was looking at my phone. Okay. So first things first, Ashley, get inside. There we go. You still alive? Okay. I'm gonna reload while I can. Uh-oh. Oh, I can't, can't kick him. There we go. Dude's head exploded. Gotta make sure he's not a, uh... He's not running around with that shit on him. Her head exploded too. She's good. She's clean. You're not! Oh wait, no you are. The music stopped. Okay, cool. Reload this, while the birds in my background keep chirping super loudly. Alright. I'm gonna climb up here, and then take this out. Ah, fuck. Good thing. Good thing you're all the way over there, but the trash can is blocking my view. Trash can, dumpster, whatever. There we go. Ah, oh, shit. Gotta reload. There we go. Grab that. Let's move on over here. All right. So here's the part where you really want to be careful because this is the only time you'll ever see. The, uh, I, maybe not the only time, but. One of the only times that I remember that you'll see these enemies. And I forgot their names? But, basically, these enemies are, uh, they are two Mr. Salvadors, but they are female and they are twins. I feel like their names are called the Ruby Sisters or something, but I'm not sure. Yeah, but basically it's two Salvadors. And you want to get the fuck out of there as soon as possible. Your goal is to kind of bottleneck them as best as you can. And in doing so, you shall keep your ass safe. 
from the fuckitude. I missed. You away. we go. I do not have a... Well, I got a couple of more shots. I would really love it if you guys can come at me from the same angle. Oh, fuck. I did not know you were alive. Okay. Get blind, bitches. Never had to do it this way before. Never had to do it this way before. I should be safe from this angle, right? And I have a nice little escape route. Fuck off. What are you dodging and weaving for? The guy that's fucking behind them is... Pissing me off. He's chucking shit at me. Uh-oh. Can you get out of here? He's gonna hit me. He's gonna hit me. He's gonna hit me. Did she die? Oh, she died. Nice. Fuck. Damn it! You, sir, you're pissing me off. I want you dead. Ow! Uh, I guess I'll use my flash. Fuck face. She's dead too now. That's good. Jackass. You're a jackass for helping him. Of course. Of course you have one. Alright. So they are dead and out of my way. Ashley? Make your way to me. Because I want to put you over here. Good job, Ashley. Get in there. Alright, there should be some ammo down here. I said should be, I didn't say will be. God damn it. Now what really sucks is that I'm gonna have to do the rest of this with handgun ammo. And it's not gonna be fun. Well, I do have three shots in there. More handgun ammo. This is usually how I end this area off anyways, with like, no fucking ammo. Now, I want to be careful and not trigger any of them, because I want to be able to get clean shots and- Oh, nope, they got triggered. They're triggered. Trigger warning. Hi, 808. How's it going? Oh, fuck. Ah, shit. You know what? Bottleneck it. See if I can get them to line up. Hope you're having a good day today. Right now, my day's being a little shitty. Wow, you just came by yourself? Alright, there we go. Three shots. Made them count. 
think she's dead. She is. Dude, hit the ground. Take oh fuck. Of course. Hit the ground so I can kick you. I'm gonna die. This is gonna be my first death. Hmm. There's RE4 anime art. Oh. Oh, um. Hold up, let me just. The art is, uh, it's not from me or anyone. It's from a Japanese mobile game. That most people don't really know about. Unless you're from Japan. Oh, shit. Of course. This is gonna be my first death. My first legit death, actually, because we're not counting the one with the Lago. Yeah, but it was from a mobile game. I don't know the exact name of the mobile game, but I know you can find it if you type in Bio Biohazard Clan Resident Evil. And there's a bunch of there's a bunch of art for it. I guess it's like a gacha style game. Gacha, gacha, however you pronounce it. I need you. Oh my god. I don't need you to trip over. I I need you to fucking I need you to just like not in general right now. Of course. Of course this guy would come this way. Of course it would be you. I have no time. Oh yeah, this is gonna be my first death. It's gonna be my first death. RE8 comes out soon? Yep. That's why we're playing RE4 right now. That's taking up the schedule, and then once we're done with this, we're gonna do RE7. Because, oh, it's that. Give me that, 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 give me that. Yeah. Beautiful. Where the hell is the rest of you? Oh, there you are. Thank you. Invincibility frames, bitch. Oh, God. I should take some pod shots while you're down. Please don't turn. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Kick. Thank you. Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. I'll take the damage. It's fine. I can knife you. There we go, that was the last one. Ooh, clutched the shit out of that. And I got some rifle ammo for it. Thank you. RE4 and RE7 are your favorite ones. Really? I have to say, uh... Well, now... Now that I think about it, I'm gonna say that RE2 Remake is my favorite one. Because I just love how that game flows. RE4, not counting RE5, RE4 out of the mainline series is definitely my least played one. And for a while, I would say original RE3 was my favorite. Because I just, I just, A, I like Jill, and B, Nemesis was cool. So was, uh, so was uh, Tyrant from 2, but, but you know, that was before the remake. They were shotgun shells the whole entire time. I didn't even know they were here. Learn something new every day. I never even came back here before. Back to this area. Alright. Baby girl, you can come out of hiding. Hey there, Ashley. Imagine if they didn't have those boxes there. You'd be in a world of hell. A world of hell? Does that make sense? Oh, my bad. I gotta catch you. My bad, my lady. Hop down. Hoppeth downeth. So that I may catch up this. I have no fucking healing items. <laughs> they should make an RE anime. I've been saying this a long time. Like, if you were to... A little self-plug here. 
if you were to check like my tweet from oh fucking hell get in the trash if you were to check my tweets from like uh back when they were doing the first re8 showcase this year one of my tweets was was uh i think what i said was because re4 remake is a for sure thing they should either i forgot what they say i forgot what i said but I knew I said something along the lines of, if they're going to make a Resident Evil anime, it should be Resident Evil 4. Because the dynamic of Leon and Ashley would be really fucking funny. Like, I think RE4 would be the easiest one to adapt into an anime if they were to ever do it like that. I would love an RE4 anime just like the goofiest shit ever. Is RE4 the goofiest game? Because I know RE6 has the, the most goofy premise, right? Because the whole game is just like, I wanted to get my dick wet by Ada, so I made a clone from my, from my jizz. And she became a fucking... She went crazy and killed China. And that was the story. <laughs> are you the only one chatting? Yeah. Some nights are slow nights. Some nights are slow nights. But that's okay. Follow me. That's mainly that's mainly my fault because my, uh, my stream schedule is like super late at night. So, uh... Well, thank you for the follow. It's greatly appreciated. Yeah, but it's 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 basically my fault because my schedule. Whenever I do stream, like at earlier times, that's when more people really come in because they never have the chance to uh, catch me live. Which, as long as people are watching and you know, as long as people are watching, having a good time, it's fine by me. I don't care if you watch live or if you watch the vods, or if you go on YouTube and watch the previous playthroughs. I do, I do, however, warn you, if you're going to watch the really old playthroughs I have on my channel, prepare for it to be terrible. Did I go backwards? Because that was back in the day when I was still learning this shit. Oh, <laughs> you love Megman? Yeah, fucking... Megman's great. I love him, too. I just wish they did more with him. Like, Mega Man is endless. They can do a lot of shit with Mega Man, but Capcom just doesn't choose to. And then Keiji Inafune is a jackass. Is it Keiji Inafune? Or is it a... Or it's... Or is it a... Or is it Ainuma? Who is it? I can't remember. Whatever the motherfucker who did a... Who did a... Whatchamacallit? Mighty Number no. 9. It was Inafune, right? I think it was Inafune. Can't remember. Bill just last defense. I clearly underestimated the American agent's capabilities. He's still alive. I thought that we would wait until the egg hatch, but at this rate, he could destroy the whole village before it does. We must take care of this nuisance. We shall change our priorities for the time being. We will cease our hunt for Luis and ambush the two Americans. There is a building used to enlighten betrayers just beyond the point where you get off the lift. It's a perfect place for ambushing them. If all else fails, they still would need to face me in order to get past the last gate that leads out of this village. For only before my sight will the gate open. Cool. Man, every time I read the, uh... I have to say Resident Evil 2, especially the remake, has my favorite of the documents that you pick up. Right? Like, Resident Evil 1 has, uh, Itchy Tasty, but, um, it also has Lisa Trevor, I believe her name is, which, that's pretty sad, but Resident Evil 2 has the one in the orphanage, where, like, it's just the kid who can't really spell correctly, but they're describing, like, the orphans being taken away, and, like, you know, people starting to feel sick and shit. Like, it's both adorable, but fucked up at the same time. All right, Ashley. Time to get some fucking. Welcome. Time to get some of that good shit in our system, if you know what I mean. Good things on sale. What are you buying? What are you buying? You 
music. Give me that shit. I need it. <laughs> Thank you, stranger. <laughs> I love his laugh so much. What are you selling? Let's see, do I have oh I got this ruby. There you go. What Leon be doing with <laughs> doing to Ash? What do you mean doing to Ashley? He does nothing to Ashley. Even at the end of the game, where she's like, "Hey, Leon, wanna fuck?" He's like, "No, wait, stay away from me." And then two seconds later, he turns around and goes, "Yo, Hunnigan, wanna fuck?" Like when, <laughs> like, and Ashley's like right next to him, <laughs> and Hunnigan's like, "No, Leon, you fucking loser." And he's like, "Man, nobody likes me." Except for the 20 year old who just axed me. That's my favorite scene in this fucking game. I love it. I oh, won't open. Alright, shit. So we gotta go the other way because I wanna go pick up that treasure. Where did I come from? I came from. I came from across the bridge, right? Did I? I'm not even sure. I did. I did. Quote unquote bridge. Alright. Cause I wanna go get that treasure from Eligante. And it might it might lead to my death. It might not. We don't actually have to fight Eligante. We just, you know, gotta go grab that treasure. Man, if there was like uh if there were like uh Resident Evil 4 aficionados fucking watch me play this, they'll be losing their shit right now. They're like, how come you haven't upgraded the Ren 9 yet? What's wrong with you? Monster! I did not mean to kick that down. <laughs> The magic room. Oh shit. You know, all, uh, for all intents and purposes, I would really like to see Ashley appear appear again in like a later game. Like, even just as like a side character or something. To show that, you know, through this experience she's had she has grown a little. But they would never do that. They would never do that because everyone hates Ashley, mainly for the fact... I feel like most people hate Ashley because she's a escort mission and not because she's actually a shitty person. Like, yeah, she's a little whiny here and there, but I mean, listen, you would be whiny too, right? <laughs> you just dumped it, you just got kidnapped and you were dumped here and you're like, fuck! You'd be shit in your pants. You'd be like, Leon, get over here, help me! Now, could she grab a gun and help out? Sure. But at the same time, I feel like most people who say that and want that tend to forget that Resident Evil 5 on single player is the most difficult thing in the world. Mainly because your AI partner's not it, man. It is not it. I'm like, like, there's a fucking first date in the room, and I'm like, I need that. And then Sheva's already fucking zooming across the room. She's like, mine, bitch. Deal with it. Right? Why well, they only put puzzles to guard Ashley like they know? <laughs> only put puzzles to guard Ashley like they know Leon's got skills. I don't know. Also, why was. Well, forget putting puzzles to fucking. Alright, hold up. Let me see where the. Uh, treasure is. Ah, oh, shit. Like, forget the puzzles, right? The thing that bothers me the most is, uh... Alright, so we gotta... Oof. Oh! I thought they would start me off turned on. Yeah, I know, Ashley. I know. Oh, we gotta move. We gotta move, Ash! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. I missed. We're dead, Ash. Yep, she's dead. <laughs> she's dead. She's dead. <laughs> Why do they start me there? Ah, oh, damn it. I wasn't even gonna look. Alright. Can I shoot that from- I think I can shoot that from here. Do you need to- Yeah, I think I can- I'm just going to shoot that from here, just to make it easier. Oh, come on. Poor Ashley, that's brutal. That's why we didn't look. Oh, I have more ammo on that. Okay, cool. Didn't note it. 
I was so confused because first I thought they were going to start me facing the other way because, you know, it's an older game and that's usually what they would do. And then they start you like she's just standing there pointing at it as she's right under it. It's like we're going to die if I shoot that right now. <laughs> but yeah. I'll count that as a death for me. If Ashley dies, I'll count that as a death. So technically I have one death this whole playthrough. Ah, oh, fuck. Ashley, move, damn it. Let's go, baby girl. All right, where is the treasure? Is it? Ah, oh, fuck. Is it in the, it's in the bucket. Fuck, there, it's right behind us. Oh shit, oh shit, oh fuck, we're gonna die. Oh fuck, come on. Let's go. I wanted to, it won't open, it's locked. Maybe the key's around here Some. oh fuck me. Oh, fuck. Do I have a flash? I don't have a flash. <laughs> Points at Polder. Exactly. She's like, Leon, look, that shall help us. And it's like, it will if you fucking move out the way. Ooh, got a spinal. Don't mind me. Looking for keys. Fucking TMP. Go burn in hell. Oh, come on. That's a fire. Uh, no, Ashley, move. Uh, keep it moving, baby. Stop looking behind you. You're giving me the creeps. We gotta go around them. Come on, Ashley. We're just playing a game of Scooby-Doo now. That's what we're doing. It'd be nice if they gave me... Can you take that, please? Where the fuck's... Oh, here it is. Damn it. I'm gonna have to loop back around. Well, before we do that, I'm gonna have to reload so I can hit the damn thing. Come on, Ashley. This way. Don't get caught. Get some distance. Come on, Leon. There we go. Yeah. Beautiful. Now we just loop back around and get the hell out of here. Oh, is he charging? Is he trying to charge at us? That's gonna suck if he does that. Why'd he stop? I don't like that he stopped. <laughs> you know, instead of giving me flame grenades, they should have gave me a flash so I could just blind him real quick and run past. <laughs> keep, the, keep those big titties moving. I really like Ashley. Ashley's cool. She doesn't bother me. There's definitely way more annoying characters like in other games. There we go. We got what we came for. Combine with you. That beer stein's about to be complete, too. Did I, uh... I still got the other first aid. Alright, cool. Wait, is there a uh, typewriter next to you? Nope. Guess it's in here. Alright. Let's see. Is it not in here? Where is it? Here it is. She's pretty too, not bad for GameCube animation. What I find weird is that in the official art for Ashley, they like, they scrunch up her nose and it looks, she looks really weird in all of her official art, right? For Resident Evil 4. Like her face is completely different from what's actually in game. And, I, and I'm like, wow, that's, that's, that's crazy. She does have some big ass ears though. I will say that. But I like her big ears. She's cute with her big ears. 
She's my little Dumbo. Isn't that right, Ashley? Your little Dumbo. I throw you in the trash. You stay there until I call you out. Alright, how many uh, shots do I have with this? This is going to be a pain in the ass. Come on, baby girl. Let's go. Now let's get you out the way before I even get there. Because you guys... Oh, fuck. Ow. I knew that would happen. You know what? Just for that? Ashley, fuck out the way. Bitch. Oh! Damn it! Am I real- Fuck, we're getting fucked up, Ashley. Here, you get it. You get weed. It'll work for you. Oh my god, I gotta reload. Son of a bitch. That's so gonna hit me. I suck at this. What the hell? I never had this much problems with it. Bitch. Leon's fucking Parkinson's is killing me. Oh, of course there's one guy. <laughs> oh, the overlay? Thank you, Nor- I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Norzy? Thank you. I always try with the overlay. I try my best. Hope you- Hope you're having a great day. Shotgun helps on that part? It does. Oh, you speak Spanish. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I- What I'm about to say is gonna sound stupid. I used to, uh, I used to speak Spanish when I was a kid. But then I just kind of stopped, you know? Like, they stopped teaching me, right? Like on my dad's side, they stopped teaching me and then I just lost all ability to speak Spanish. Because I was at a young enough age where I can learn it, but I had to keep using it in, in order to retain it. And it just didn't, it just didn't get retained. No, you make me panic. I don't know what any of that means. It also didn't help that my fucking Spanish teacher in high school was a bitch. My first Spanish teacher was great. My second one was a bitch. And since she was a bitch, I didn't do any work for her. And then she got tired of my bullshit. So she just passed me anyways. <laughs> he said, I know Japanese. That's it. I don't know anything. I know the worst English, uh, the worst language in the world, and that's English. That's the only thing I know. Let me tell you about there, there, and there. And your, your, and your. And where, where? What about where? Let me tell you how to spell tough. Let me tell you how to spell though. Let me tell you how to spell a uh, fucking through. All the words look the fucking same. <laughs> Aw, oh, dude. English sucks. I hate it. Know how to speak gibberish. Oh, fuck. But well, props to you guys for being bilingual. I will never be... Well, I'm assuming both of you are bilingual. Because... Because there's no way, there's no way you're, there's no way Spanish is the only thing you know. Really? You clicked on an English playthrough. The tag says English. All right, where the fuck is, oh, all right, Ashley, you're going to stay out here. You're going to stay right here, Ashley. While I do this bullshit. Uh, I can do it without the shotgun. Speak Japanese and English. I wish I speak Japanese. I tried to hit it! I tried! Ow! 
Ashley, they're being mean to me. Oh, I can just throw, I can just throw a fucking, you know what? Fuck it. Ah, but I don't want to do that. I want to save for the boss. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. No, no. Fuck. Why did that one do less damage? That hit them too. Oh man. Oh god, I can't read any of that shit. <laughs> Bye, I love you. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> he said, what the fuck? He said, what the fuck just happened in chat? Thanks for the follow. Oh my god. Thank you so much. I wish I wish that I can uh I wish I can speak multiple languages just to communicate with more people. I'm gonna die. There's a guy up here. I hear him. You stop it. You stop it. Stop it. Bad. You did not die from three shots. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? Well, anyways, I came up here for this shit. The yellow cat's eye. Now we can sell that beer stein and make a million dollars. It'll be beautiful. It'll be beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that what you wanted? Doesn't it just make you feel all happy inside? All that for a tiny gem. Jump over the damn thing, Leon. Yep. I mean, it's a tiny gem, but they may be tiny, but together, they are strong. Follow me. Follow me. <laughs> you almost died? Yeah, I know. That's what they call blood money. Welcome. Got a selection of good things on. What are you selling? Oh, yeah. Well, I got a selection of good things. Well, what am I selling? First of all, take this garbage off my fucking hands. You can have my spindles. You can have this beer stein. There you go. Team P is trash. It's garbage. What am I buying? I'm buying two first aid sprays. Because I can and you will not stop me. I should be tuning up the Red 9, but I, I still want to save money for the uh, next shotgun that's coming. <laughs> you want to sub, but you're poor. That's okay, man. You don't have to sub. Like... You don't even have to follow if you don't want to. Just, you know, if you're watching, that's all That's all that matters, really. Come back even if you just step by for a little bit. I'm not too worried about money. <laughs> you're cool. I try not to be cool. If you met me in real life, I'm the most, like... Like, if you met me in real life, New York has destroyed me so much that I'm the most anti-social motherfucker out there. No nonsense. Like, just walking around with my headphones on, hoodie up. Like, don't talk to me. Don't look at me. I don't want to deal with your bullshit. Alright. You know what? I should heal myself and then buy another first aid. I should do that. That should be a thing I should do. I really... I got... I really don't like how they be gatekeeping the goddamn first aid sprays in this game, though. Piss me off a little bit. They're like, oh man, you got two herbs in your inventory? You can- Inventory? Did I just say it like that? Ew. <laughs> you got two herbs in your inventory? You only get one first aid spray. Oh, really? Damn. Sorry to hear that, man. Shit. That sucks. I hope everything, uh... I hope everything works out in the end. Oh man, speaking of moms, fucking, uh... I said this in one of my streams like a while back. But, uh, my mom never had a ribeye steak. So, I told her I would buy some and then cook it for her or whatever. And then, I did that recently. And I didn't know whether... Like, she ate it, but I didn't know whether she, like, you know... Because anyway, you can cook anything for anyone. They're like, thank you, I like this. But it's either, did you like it or did you like like it? You know what I mean? 
And then when I asked her, she said, you didn't hear me bragging to everybody this morning? And I went, no. <laughs> She's like, I literally was sitting there calling everybody on my phone saying, my son cooked me a fucking steak and it was great. I made that shit to perfection. Ow, my fucking neck. Oh, <laughs> watching him twist that, watching him twist that reminds me of like the plastic you get on a bag of bread and you just twist that up. For some reason, it's satisfying. I was not ready for that. That's so true. I wish Resident Evil never got fucking quick time events, cause if you played, uh, if you ever played the uh, Jake and Sherry campaign from Six, their fucking quick time events are crazy, and then Ada's is even worse. All right. So I know there's some sort of trick to this, but I don't know, nor do I care. So, first things first. Burn the motherfucker. Excuse me, sir, coming through. Grab this. A fucking TMP. Burning hell. Oh! Bitch. There's supposed to be something else down here. Shotgun shells. That's cool. Grab that. Climb up here. Grab everything that I can grab. Oh, what? Come on. Grenade. Thank you. Okay. Yikes. Did not know you can do that. <laughs> hate the TMP. I hate the TMP, too. I don't hate the TMP. It's good in certain situations, especially with the fucking dogs. All right. Well, you're going to... You're just going to need the shotgun. I'm not even going to entertain your bullshit. Back up, Leon. <sighs> All right, just need some me time. There you go. But that's not the hard part. This is the hard part. Do you think they got the thing from Jack Baker in this game with his fucking legs walking around and shit? Being all weird? Do I have flash? Does flash affect him? I don't think it does. Does it get him on the ground? Yup. Blow up, bitch. Direct hit. Where are you going? Move, Leon. There we go. <laughs> Long spine. Exactly. I think he might be easier to deal with up here. I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna pick this up, though. And this. Now where is he? Oh, I hear him hissing. Oh, there he is. And I lost him. Shouldn't there be, like, another incendiary somewhere? I could have sworn there, there was, like, two. Ouch. It's okay, I got first aid. I'll take the hit. Oh wow, that was... That was fast. Ew, it's all wet and gross. You're gross. But I'll take your money, though. How many times have I beat this? Um... I beat it two times, like, long ago, and then because I didn't beat the PlayStation 4 version, uh, like, like, earlier this year, I did a, earlier this year, I beat it again, but not as a playthrough, as, like, a one-time stream, like, as a one-off, because, um, it was after the RE8 showcase, and, uh, I needed to finish this game so I can prepare for the um, for the playthrough that I'm doing right now. 
So a total of three times. A total of three times. Peta fifteen times on the GameCube, seven on the Switch. Oh shit! I'm so uh, I'm so worried about buying games on my Switch because I know. Excuse me. Just had a burp. Because I know um. I know that some games their frame rate doesn't work as good on the Switch. So for the most part. If it's a game that I think is, like, really good to have on the go, I'll pick it up. Now, with that said, shit like, you know, the first-party stuff that Nintendo does is, uh, fucking fantastic, and it works fine. Like, even in portable mode, right? I really hope I'm not missing anything in there. Are you okay, Leon? So, like, Fire Emblem was pretty great, and so was, like, Mario Odyssey and shit like that. But, like, I see stuff like The Witcher, and I'm like, mm, that looks terrible on Switch. And I don't really need Witcher on the go. Uh, the last game I bought on my Switch was Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Because I was like, yeah, that'll be fine to have on the go. Isn't there supposed to be like a handgun ammo out here or some shit? Yeah, but I think um, I'm probably going to buy the Bayonettas on my Switch and then of course the uh, No More Heroes on there. Because both No More Heroes 1 and 2 is on there, but for some reason you cannot buy it in a bundle. Which is stupid. And I don't think there's a... Uh, and I think the bundle for Bayonetta on Switch is physical only. Which is even double stupid. Because I'm not running around with a million cartridges on, on me. I did that with the DS, the DSi, the 3DS. The Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Advance SP, you know? I'm tired of that shit. I love physical media, but... You know. I don't want to fucking... <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to carry a million cartridges on me. That's why I got the disc version of the PS5. So just in case they have like, oh, it's a physical only. Do I like Star Wars? I like Star Wars. I recently went through like a uh a um I did like a marathon of like the movies, like the trilogy. So, so, uh, you know, the prequels, the regular movies, and the, um, the new stuff. But, I was gonna do a thing where I went into the, where I check out the expanded universe of, like, Star Wars and stuff like that. Which is kind of difficult to get in, because after Disney acquired them, everything got retconned, and then all that bullshit. So, there's really, like, where do you start? Oh, watch the shows. And as I'm watching the Clone Wars, I'm just sitting there, and I'm like... I'm like, hey, I know the show picks up there, right? I know the show picks up, like, after the second season or whatever, but as I'm watching it, I'm like, I'm really tired how Star Wars just always just goes to the past. Like, they really don't focus on the future shit, and I get it, because it's difficult to do, but... Fuck, man, I'm tired of hearing shit about, like, and this happened a thousand trillion fucking years ago, and it doesn't affect any of the story now. And it's like, oh, come on. Yeah, it's like, like, make new stuff. Like, here's the thing. Mandalorian is new, and I get that it takes place during the, uh, original, uh, not original, during the, um, like, the new trilogy. But still, it's all like, it's during the new trilogy. Tell me what the fuck happens after the new trilogy. I'm tired of you telling me uh, what happened between the fucking movies, because it's getting t it's getting boring, All right? Welcome. One of these days I would like to play um. One of these days I would like to play and stream a uh, Kotor though, because that that's cool. But still, at the same time, it's all like it takes place way in the past, and it doesn't even matter. And I'm like, come on, man. I'm like, get me something. Yeah, no more old characters. They fucked up Finn's... F Dude, they fucked up Finn's arc. I don't know how you fucked that up. It was so obvious. It was so obvious and so interesting, but then they just went like, no, nah, man, just grab a kid from the desert planet for the fucking third time and make them the best Jedi ever. And then I was like, I'm just sitting there in the movies and I'm like, fuck my life. I hate this shit. And then the second movie, they're like, hey, Finn, here's Rose. Hang out with her. And I'm like, God, I hate you. Also. 
also like in the beginning of the movie you see rose's sister and then you see rose later and you're like how come the sister's not the main character she looks way she's way cooler than rose and she only had like two seconds on the screen finn could have been an awesome jedi yeah and then at the end of the fucking the new trilogy they're like he's like i just feel something right and it's like i don't care anymore finn Fucking god damn it, they really just ruined it. They ruined it. I don't get how you ruin something that's so easy. And he was so interesting, right? But I, I'm gonna have to point out something. I don't know what the fuck, what was, I don't know what the hell Finn was thinking, and uh, I'm gonna need to reload this or whatever. I don't know what the fuck Finn was thinking. Well, not Finn, John Voyega, right? Voyega, Voyega, however you pronounce his name. I don't know what the hell he was thinking. When it came to the later movie and his fucking hairstyle. Because those little jury curls or whatever the fuck it was he had in his head. That was definitely not it. I was sitting in theaters. I was like, can you take that shit out your head? You look stupid. Like, I used to have twists like that. But if you're going to have twists like that, at least let your hair grow out first. You look fucking stupid. Like, I couldn't take anything he said seriously in that movie. Like, at all. Actually, stop looking behind you. You're weirding me out. I know we're being chased. It's like, what was wrong with you having... Like, you know? Like, if he was gonna have twists or whatever, then he might as well just put braids in his hair. When your hair's that short and you got twists in it, it don't look right. It don't. She wants the Leon D. Of course she wants the Leon D. I never understood why, like, at the end of this game, when she goes like, Hey, Leon, wanna fuck? Most people are like, Oh, she only said that because she's jealous of Ada. And it's like, No, I think she said that because Leon literally carried her ass through this whole entire shit. Come on. And he's cool as fuck. <laughs> like, I think that's why she says that. I don't think it's because she's jealous of Ada. Like, would she be jealous of Ada? Sure, but trust me, she wanted D before Ada even fucking showed up. Like, I would say, I would say it's like during the castle section where she gets, she gets locked up in like this Scooby-Doo fucking trap. She's like, what's down this hallway? And then just like Scooby-Doo, the fucking wall spins. And you're like, come on, Ashley. What the fuck? All right, stay Wait. here, Ashley. I don't want to cut you. All right. But oh, no. <laughs> Woo. Fucking, I'm a cat-like reflexes. Want to teach me how to fight, Leon? What do you mean? She should have, uh... Like, I feel like Ashley would take an interest in, like... Well, maybe she wouldn't, but... That's what I'm saying. Like, even if she's not, like... Even if she doesn't become, like, a fucking US agent or some shit... Like, after this game or whatever, or, like, in a future game or something... It's like, I still think she would take some sort of interest in like some sort of role like maybe be like Hunnigan sit in the chair and be your little oracle like something like even if it's like a side thing where like like I know Mass Effect they would like um like in the second game or whatever they would send uh like emails depending on what you did for your choices in the first game Right? So something like that even, where like, she sends an email to Leon it's like, How you doing, man? Right? Because I find- I find it so weird that Leon spends a whole game with Ashley, but in Resident Evil 2, he spends literally two seconds with Sherry, and that's the end of the game. And then when you play Resident Evil 6, she's all like, Oh my god, Leon! I remember him, he saved my life! And it's like, no he didn't. He never- he wasn't even there. Claire was there. She's the one who literally saved your life. You had a virus and she gave you the the fucking cure. 
Like, it makes no sense to me. It's like, what the hell? Like, if it shouldn't have been Sherry there. It should have been fucking Ashley. She should have been like, oh my god, Leon, you saved my life. <laughs> Alright? Alright. So I'm looking at the time now. I've been doing this for four hours. So that means it is time for us to say goodbye. It's time to end the part in the stream. Because this is the time where uh, people start making a bunch of noises in my neighborhood like lunatics. So, that's going to be it for this stream, right? Uh, usually, here's what I would sit here and be like, for next stream, this is what we're doing. But since plans have changed, next stream, we're just playing more Resident Evil 4, right? And that's going to be happening until we're finished. And then after that, we're going to go do Resident Evil 7, and then we'll finish there. And if we have some time left, I'll continue the Phoenix Wright stuff, and I'll just focus on that until Resident Evil come, uh, Resident Evil 8 comes out. Which is in like a couple of weeks. So, uh, that's it. Oh, there is something else we're going to do next stream. We're going to take a look at the showcase that's supposed to be happening later today. But we're going to do that during the stream next time. We're not going to do that live because I'm not going to have time to do it live. Like, while the showcase is going on. So, if they do that, if uh, we're going to watch the showcase next time. If there is an update to the demo on, on, uh... On, on Maiden or whatever, then I'll do that as well. And then we'll play more Resident Evil 4. But that's it. Uh, later today, the full Uncharted playthrough that I did in one stream should be going up on the YouTube channel. And the Sly Cooper 2 playthrough is fully uploaded, so there's that. Uh, and I think that's it. Have a nice night or morning, depending on time zones. I'm in New York. But, um, so it's morning for me. So, um, there's that. And just as another reminder out there for people who are watching live or on VODs or whatever, uh, if you're interested, make sure you go grab BTTV, that extension for your Twitch on your browser, so you can get access to more emotes and stuff like that and animated emotes and all that bullshit. Because one of the emotes are coming up is animated. And BTTV is free. So that's cool. You do that. But um that's it for now. So thank you to those who came and watched live. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you to the people who are watching the VODs later on. I know my schedule sucks and you're not able to catch it live, but the fact that I'm entertaining enough that you'll watch me when I'm not live is cool. And then, uh, for those watching YouTube, try and catch it live if you can, or watch the VODs on Twitch first, because you don't get the playthrough until it's completed. So, there you go. So that's it for now. I'm gonna get out of here. Out of your hair. Out of your wares. I, I, I thought there was like a third rhyme I can use, but there isn't. So, that's it. Once again, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. I'm a chef what else should I be? Please don't take all